on the outside. Another step. That's excellent play by the Exiles, bringing play up to the halfway mark. Straight and true. Still Dubai retain possession. Release, release, no. Exiles making very good ground. Can they make this possession count earlier on in this encounter? Still Dubai putting up multiple phases. Very good skills. Excellent tackle. Look like almost went through the horizontal. Referee is happy with it. So just going one pass out. Thought of the offload. Dubai have men on the outside if they can use them. It's almost four and two. I don't think that skip pass was the best. Pace on the outside and run out of grass. So it's a line out to Kerdi. Good defense by Kerdi, but perhaps if the Dubai players had straightened their lines of running, it may have worked for them. Just cracked. KRDA. Got numbers on the right if they can use them. It's good defense by the exiles. Turnover position transition is always dangerous in the game of rugby. Still the exiles come. Tip pass. Staying in the fight for as long as possible. Ball. Referees called a mall. Can the I ball come back on the Dubai side? Yes, it can. Very good work by the exiles. Can they make this possession count? Perhaps that ill-advised. Yeah, I think that is a fair turnover. Isolated. Kerdier with possession now. Looking to spread the ball out wide. Oh, lovely dummy by Kerdia. Excellent cover tackle by the Exiles. 10, 10, 10. So, possession to the Exiles. Still the Exiles with all the territory. Coming straight through, trying to use the big man to gain some meters. Hold. Exiles playing some really good rugby. But they've got to make this possession count. Going a bit Advantage, lateral, no Exiles, and that's always the danger when you're going across lost possession. Cardier with... Referee. Advantage is over. Advantage is over. And it is Kerdie who looked to have streaked away. And it is a try for the Kenya Rugby Development Academy. The Exiles with all the possession but no score. And it is what you do with the possession that ultimately counts. Kerdie 7, Dubai Exiles 0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the 10, on the 10. Ready when you are. Time to run! Backward! No. Exiles now. Again, all the possession, but not making enough headway into the Kerdia half. Advantage offside! Cause them any danger. No con, but referee was playing advantage. Players that straight yeah, yeah, here's offside. Mark. Here's the mark. Here's the mark. What do the exiles do from here? Guys. Are they going to play? Looks like set move. Release! Numbers on the outside. 
Backward. The exiles. Play backwards. Ball went backwards. Looks like it's been turned over. Knock on the base. So it will be an exile scrum. scrum. The exiles don't need to panic. It's still just 7 0. You can see the exiles bench and the coach shouting encouragement uh, the mark is there. to the boys. Uh, guys, remember, no pushing. Still no plenty pushing. of time to go just in this tie. Mindset. Still only the first half, and it's just one score in it. Let's see what uncontested, the exiles do with the possession now. Your, your ball, your ball. Uncontested. uncontested. Coach! Bind! Bind, bind. Bind, bind, bind. Set! Oh, and that's a good turnover no by Cardier. There's no pushing, but the play still continues. They've got a lot of gas on the outside, the Cardier. Excellent tackle by the Exiles. Counter going in, but Cardier maintained possession. Referee's arm is out playing advantage. So they can that. So you can Sorry, it's the referee. I think it would be better advised just to focus on his players. They hooked up. <laughs> they fought for the ball. I never push. There's no pushing. So I see it. So And then, when when the match is in the final, I will have a two match end. Because of that, Coach! Wow. Bang! So unless you, you can Set. come in there. Hold, hold, hold. Yeah. Uh, Karen. Advantage high! Turnover is good, but here is a high tackle. So remember, Thailand is 22. And welcome back to the second half. It is Dubai Exiles in the ascendancy, and indeed they pull a try back, and it is now level. Dubai Exiles 7, KRDA 7. Very okay. crucial okay. score. Okay. And what an excellent start to the second half. Yeah, yeah, again. 
by the boys from the Middle East. So it's anybody's game now. This game could go either way. Can I have a sub for him? I think Can probably Dubai's tactic will be to try and put the ball as deep as possible because under such slippery conditions underfoot, Can't play. the territory He's been becomes Can't play with him here. an excellent tactic in the game. Referee has stopped the clock. He's been tapped, yeah? It is the second half as uh, Dubai were attacking right to left in the first half. They are now attacking left to right. Running repairs completed. I don't think they'll want to lose him as he's one of their better ball carriers. But it is rolling on, rolling off substitution, so he can come back at any time. Backward. Interesting tactic, Dubai kick off short, but that was a plan to try and get the ball back, but it has gifted KRDA with possession. Moving the ball out wide to the danger man, uh, KRDA. Dubai put pressure at the breakdown. <laughs> Referee's arm is out for an advantage, yes indeed. Playing the player on the ground. The exiles with possession. Consultation amongst each other. Looks like they may yeah, they may go for territory. And then take the line out from there. Really wet and muddy underfoot. But the credit to both teams. They are trying to make a go of it. So the exiles with possession. Release, release. No block, no block. Two decoy runners. No, went back, went back. Got away with that. Referee said went backwards to the speedster on the outside. Well covered and shepherded into the corner. Turnover, KRDA. Good defense by KRDA. I think the exiles are better suited just uh, being a bit more direct. Because every time they've tried to spread the ball out to the wing, it's been easily covered. But it looks like an infringement by KRDA. Let's have it. Let's have it right. Taking their time. Dubai, which is a good tactic. Because the much lighter and uh, looking to be a bit more agile players from KRDA. Get on, get on. Would like the game to be quicker. Last play! And they go for a touch again. There's a mark. About five meters gained, but sometimes yeah, incremental yeah, yeah. gains is the way to go. Hold. Guys, 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 Exiles guys, look to have a set play from this. Well spotted, good space. Lost, lost. Get on, get on. Almost look like KRDI turned that over. The Exiles player look to be isolated. Get on. Advantage offside block 12, 18. Or rushed 30, out of 30, defense. Offside. Leave it. Still the exiles in possession, making their way slowly but surely towards the KRDA try line. For the offside. Coming straight through again. No advantage from the offside. I think more of the same from the exiles. We just need to keep going straight. Uh, referee has stopped the clock as we deal with an injury from KRDA. Finally balanced match. This is and this is crucial possession for the exiles. They're about 50 meters uh, from the KRDA try line. The 22 meter line is the try line on the right side of the field, and on the left side of the field, it is the usual try line. No, no, I, know, I, know. I think the organizers have had to make some adjustments. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know it's okay.
finish up and uh, could you could you leave from that side please? Okay. Could you leave from that side? Exiles, switching play, five meters from the try line. Just need to be patient and keep possession. Good tackle by KFG. Defending desperately. I think they do sense that if they concede here, it would be very difficult for them to come back. Release! Roll away! Advantage. Arm is out playing advantage. Still the exiles come. <laughs> Referee's arm is out. Yeah, here's the mark. Here's the mark. I think they just try need line. to look at where the mark 22, is. 22, try line. Should just take a quick one here. Which they do. Surely this should be a try. Please, please stop. Leave him block. Not yet there. Yeah, Must be inches. Desperate, desperate defense from KRDA. And over are the exiles. And they know how much that score is crucial. Look how much it meant to them. And that is the final whistle. That was the last play of the game. Dubai exiles with a try right at the death to steal that win. Dubai exiles 14, KRDA 7. Well, it's all action here on Gong Road at the RFEA grounds in the 2024 Easter Blackrock Tournament. Where were you? Exactly, he was there. The air was there. The air was there. The air. So we are getting ready for game three of the 2024 Easter Blackrock tournament. Two games done and the action comes thick and fast. Weather is clearing. Next we have Prince Rugby playing EPS Moran. This is round one of the boys tournament. Both teams all set to go. Conditions, even though the weather has cleared, are still very difficult to play the game. And I think as more matches are played, they probably could get worse. But credit to the young men, they are all uh, trying to make the best of the game and also showcase to us uh, what they can do. It has been actually a challenge for a lot of Kenya rugby teams to play under such conditions. Let's so it's not in. such bad bit of practice for these young men to develop Yellow. the skills of playing in wet conditions. Red. So game three about to start EPS Morans playing Prince Rugby. Off. 
Guys, kick off, kick off yellow. Oh, the one starting. Guys, director, can you hear? Wait, wait, wait. Director, my whistle. Play zone. Ball has traveled 10. Tackle! Uh, guys, who is who? Guys, just come. Who is Moran? Who is Ford? Yeah. My mat is here. Scum, five people. Okay, so a good run by uh, Prince. Take five if you're not part of the scrum. Yellow, three, Rugby. Five. Move five. Right five, there five. at the start, but it is EPS okay, Morans now who have possession. No contest, right? Crutch. Still putting the ball in from and the wrong side. Uh, Morans. Hold it. Let's have it in. No contest. Use it. From went Prince. Back. Referee said went backwards. Tackle, yellow. EPS. Okay, use it. Still in possession. Oh, lovely pass. By Morans. Doing well to keep possession early on in this match. Okay. Ball is open. Still the Morans. Stay, stay, Straight, stay. Hard and true. And now trying to use the big boys to hit up the play and turn over, isolated. The ground, number two red. In the tackle, Prince stay, Rugby stay. regain possession. Stay, stay, Good defense by Prince Rugby. Watch, watch. No ten advantage. Static that when receiving it. Not in red. Not the prerequisite ten meters. Wait, 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 wait. Get back ten. Wait. Get back ten. The yeah, referee is right. You can't what? take it quickly when the offense is that the players were not ten meters back. So Prince Rugby again with possession. Just around the halfway line. You can see the massive puddle Tackle, right in the middle of the field. So referees have opted to kick off from just off the center. Prince Rugby, excellent tackle on the outside. It looked like he was away there. Almost looked like Moran's had possession. Good pressure by the Moran's at the breakdown to force the error. Sorry, sorry. Five man scrums. On five people at the scrum here. And I think credit to the players, they have managed to keep okay. their footing even though some are playing Stay barefoot. Five, boys. Red. I think back. that is Crutch. real credit to the young men. In. Morans. Come away again. Good tackle that look, looks like a turnover. Holding yes, indeed, isolated. But turnovers like that only come if the tackle is done properly. And the Prince rugby tackler did well. Prince rugby again with some strong hard runners. Well dealt with. Good tackle. By Moran, but this looks to be a try. Yes, indeed it is. Prince Rugby with the first score of this round one tie. Prince Rugby 7, EPS Moran 0.
center is here. Center, get back. My center is here, yellow. So and what will Prince Rugby right do with this possession? The will they go deep? Will they go short and try and retain it? Play it when you're ready. No whistle. Well, Let's somewhere back. in between. Ball went backwards. Hitch kick uh, by Moran. It's a good play by Moran. But they are really in a tiny space. I think Prince Rugby have got away with one there. The Prince Rugby player was nowhere near offside. Diving, 15, avoid to add that, insult to injury, Moranza then penalized for going red. over. Prince Rugby come away with it. Trying to use their big players. It's always, it's always really good to see a tiny player tackling a Being huge player in the game of rugby. And these EPS Moran's players have a lot of heart. And that excellent defense well, has good. given them possession. Use it. In a very good position. Still the Morans. No advantage gain for the to come back to the scrum. This is no Red. advantage. Still possession to the Morans. If, if the Moran scrum have can just realize that he's if, if he can put the ball in from the right side, well, from the left side of the scrum, which is the right side for them, then they'll have a lot of space on the right side of the field. But because he's on that side, he's actually closing the space down for his winger. Bind. Could still work. Number eight pickup. But it's just what I mentioned earlier. Tackle now. Roll away. But Moran's still in possession. Looking to exploit space at the base of the breakdown. The big, the big man from the Morans needs to take a bit more of the work, because it's it's the little guys who are getting really pounded. He thought that was the try line, and that is half time in the third game of this round one clash in the 2024 Easter Black Rock red, red, tournament. Red, number eight. Hey, the red. Morans in red and black, zero. Prince Rugby in the yellow and blue hoops, seven. Leave the ball there. So the second half about to get started and uh, you saw part of the crowd and young people enjoying themselves. Really that is what is so good about this game of rugby is that the future of the game with our young people, both boys and girls, um, is growing stronger and stronger. 
So Prince Rugby in the yellow and blue hoops on the right, leading by seven points to nil. Ipes Morans kick off. Can he, Prince Rugby extend their lead early in this second half? Hey, what a good tackle by the Morans. Really stuck their shoulders into every tackle against a much bigger team. Another good tackle by the EPS Morans. Both those tackles have gained them about 15 meters already. Prince Rugby. Excellent defense. Surely can this be the try to tie it? It is. And that try was created by three excellent tackles by the EPS Morans players. Forced the mistake from Prince Rugby, and it is all tied at 7 7. From this shot, center is here, center. You, you can't tell how much water this ground has had to soak up in the last 24 oh, they're hours. Kicking, they're kicking for this. You're kicking for but that defensive work from the APS Morans Kicking for them, no really has set a very good platform for them to see if they can get a positive Play result ready, no here in their first game. Play on. Game is on. Kick off straight into a player. Would have been probably better off looking for grass. But they do trust their defense. High that was illegal at the breakdown. So Prince Rugby have possession. They take it quickly. Suspiciously, not 10 meters did the EPS Moran player look. What a, another shot. But the EPS Moran players. Good tackle. Back in our time at this age, you'd be told go for the ankles. Now, of course, with player welfare, you're told if you go too low. You might get injured as your knee, knees, you could get knees into your head. But it's still Prince Rugby in possession. One off runners, although they are making ground. What's back? That's always the danger with that. Offside. Credit to EPS Morans and whatever their coach told them at halftime. Because the defensive effort in the first few minutes of this half has given them the ascendancy. Those Prince rugby players were not 10 meters. Stay, tackle. Stay, stay. EPS Moran's in possession. Wait back. It's interesting to see how momentum shifts in a match. It looked like Prince scrum, rugby scrum, scrum, were in control scrum, scrum. and coasting. It's a scrum. But now the momentum seems to have shifted to EPS. Prince Rugby with a scrum. Still deep in their half. The reason I say deep in their half is because the try line is their 22 meter line. Sit. Hold it. Let's have it in yellow. Let's have it in. Ball is out. Prince Rugby in possession. That pass that has dropped to ground has put them under a bit of pressure. Still with a strong runner. Doesn't pass much the Prince Andrew player, but Playing a very strong Prince. runner and he's got an advantage for his team. Prince Rugby still coming up. That could be a no turnover. Again. We come back to the high yes, tackle. legitimate turnover, but the referee was still playing advantage. Get back. Prince Rugby. That probably was not the best option to take from the Prince player. Because he ran himself into trouble. And the Morans now have possession. What can the Morans do from here? Didn't look very organized with that one. But they still retain possession. Bit of 
Big man with a good pass. Tackle. But the EPS big players need to take some of the pressure off the smaller players. That's a lot better. Ball is open. Ball is open. Play on. But the turnover at the breakdown. Went back. Still Prince Rugby with the ball. Good step. Is that a turnover? No, it's not. From the side Penalty left. to Prince Rugby. If they can take it quickly here, they may have a chance. As the defense is still not organized. Get back 10. You're not 10 advantage. Referee, I think, is losing patience with the fact that um, Moran's players are not 10 meters. A yellow card. That's quite rare at this level. Give me 10 red, red. But that was cynical play. So Moran's down to nine men. Can Prince Rugby take advantage of this? Holding on the ground. Holding ball on the ground. That's strange. That Moran's player didn't look like he was anywhere on his feet. Tackle. Well, I guess the referee Ball's has open. got to be equitable. Because Back. the Prince Rugby players were not 10 meters on that possession. No, no, no. no. Not one from Scrum. So it is a scrum to the EPS side, still 7 all. Getting to the final stages of this match. Very finely balanced, could go either way. EPS down to 9 men, I think. Bind. Sit. Stay. Offside. Advantage to Offside. EPS. Offside. Go to Prince Rugby. Stay 10. Give me 10. And they take it quickly. <laughs> Will the referee Offside. send them another 10 meters back? Yes, indeed. Wait well, you. EPS have already lost one player Listen, to the Sinbin for not respecting the 10 meters at a penalty. Give me 10. Give me 10. A bit of patience from Prince Rugby and they could get a score here. Doesn't look like there's any clear plan really. Ball is open. Prince Rugby route one. They should use the space on the outside now. They've got numbers if they move the ball. And that pass needed to go to hand. But they the initial decision to go to the left. From the side, joining from the side. I thought the Morans had Get legitimately turned over the ball there. Yes. Could be another yellow card. Not ten. I hope it's not the same player. I'm spinning it out. Poor fellows seems clueless. Wait, wait, wait. Perhaps at this level, maybe. The referees would be better served educating as, as, as opposed to uh, penalizing. Because it looks like it's just a, a lack of knowledge from the Borans players. What an audacious offload off the back. Pulled it off. To try that in these conditions is very ambitious indeed. Prince Rugby looking to win this game right at the end. Step on the outside. What defense by the EPS Morans players. Down to nine players. Referee has stopped the clock for an injury. Looks to be holding his eye. Hold something you don't want to see. How times have changed. Back in the day when we were playing game at this level it would just be a bucket of cold water 
you be sent on your way. But it's about the game and player welfare, and especially at this age, well, we've got to look after these young men and women who will be coming soon, who will be coming through very soon. 7 all. Anul Nzere, the Prince Rugby coach, former Kenya under 20, and Simba's trialist, who's now working with age grade players. What can the Morans do with this possession? The Dubai Exiles in the previous game were very wise. They'd kick for touch and then play from there. That I don't think is the smartest bit of play. The action has moved away from the camera, but it is all action at the moment. Morans come through the melee. Stay, roll away. Use it, Fred. Still Morans come. It is above soap, that ball. Last night's Prince Rugby were possession. Still 7 all. And that is the game. Nothing could separate these two teams. Quite an entertaining match as well. Cut and thrust from both teams. Prince Rugby 7, EPS Morales 7. Next game, we'll have our visitors from Uganda coming up, playing the boys from Rift Valley. So this is the final game of round the round one matches for the boys. It is Namliango in green playing Rift Valley select a team combined from Gilgil, Nakuru, Molo, um, who are playing in white and blue. Namliango, of course, famous for producing boxers, but I guess boxing and rugby to go hand in hand. But it is uh, such credit to them for supporting the tournament. Um, traveled by bus across the border and traveled overnight all the way here and uh, brought both girls and boys teams. So Namliango in green, playing from right to left on your screens. Drift Valley Select in white and blue. Supported by a host of uh, British prep schools in the Rift Valley, St. Andrews, Turi. Pembroke uh, House in Gilgil and Nakuru RFC. So really it is a representation of the Rift Valley rugby community here, this team who've traveled down from the Kenyan Highlands. So referee about to kick off. It will be Rift Valley in white, kicking off from left to right. Nambliango College in green. Green. Wait, 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 wait. Green, ready. Captain Green, ready. Yeah, turn is here. Yeah. In fact, this is Rift Valley shirts a mixture of green, blue, Captain, ready. white, Kenyan flag. Ready, white. Well, for the purposes of commentary, I'll just call them white. If that's easier. Namliango. You're on side, Immediately play. kick. To try and put Rivali under pressure. Blood wanted. Blood wanted knock on. Tried the dummy. Watch out, watch out. Referee watch playing out, advantage watch for watch the watch knock out, on. Watch out, watch out. Play. Go, Lotan. Good step on the inside. 
Mliango unable to retain possession. That's a three on one defense by Rift Valley. Yeah, defense is always the first form of attack. Some coaches say in terms of their philosophy. Rift Valley under pressure. In danger of getting isolated by the swarming Namliango defense. Space if Rift Valley can move it. I don't think that skip pass was necessary, but it's come off. Rift Valley select. Beyond fit. Beaten. That's a bit tough by referee Barongo in these beaten, conditions. Beaten, beaten, I white. think these young men are beaten, going to find it very beaten. difficult to stay on their feet when they are coming into contact. The big man from Nambiango. Excellent turnover by Riff Valley. That's the advantage of, of being tiny because you can get down very quickly. And, and that, for those who watch the game at this level, is something that is really still very special about rugby because it is still indeed a game for all shapes and sizes. Riff Valley move the ball. Very slick handling. One more pass will do it. Can the gas man make it on the outside? Oh, yes, he can. Yeah, can he go all the way? Indeed, he can go all the way. What a try by Riff Valley Select. Moved the ball so well. And just to make it harder for us commentators, they both put the ball down at the same time. But nevertheless, the score counts. That is the best try so far of all the matches we've watched. Green, green, green. We are on. They move the ball to the left, fix defenders, fix defenders. And what you need from your gas man is gas. And that he offered in plenty. Play, 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 play. Riff Valley, kick off again. Went back, Very good on. tactic, kicked off deep. And retained possession. Fully in control of this match. All the space on the blind side. Almost got away. Referee calls play on. Still coming through. Namliango going straight and hard. Referee says play on. That could have gone to the left. Will the kick work? A bit of selfish play from the Rift Valley fly half. He had numbers to burn on the left. Oh, just that decision. Still in the first half of this game. And it is Rift Valley 7. I think on your screens it's showing as a second half, but it is still the first half. It is Rift Valley in white and blue 7. Namliango College from Uganda 0 in green. Referee has stopped the clock. I think should look at the Namdiango binding between the second rows. Doesn't look safe at all. Set! Only to only to push! But they get away with it. No one. Unfortunately, knocked on. The ball looks unhappy with that. Probably his first possession. People always did wonder why fly halves are always clean at the end of matches and modern game looks like it's still the same. So Rift Valley with possession in a very good position in this first half of this final round one match in the boys competition. 
Very good technique. Oh dear. The two successive knock on straight from the breakdown. Scrums. To be expected in these conditions. But I wonder if yeah. Rift Valley will rule that chance that they've just missed. Because you just do feel if they could have gotten a score here, then they'd put our Ugandans under pressure. But it is Nabliangu who have possession. Fine. Hold it, hold it, Jans. Hold it, hold it. Again, try the same move again to take the ball to the blind. Probably suspect that that's probably their danger, man. Referee playing advantage for the high shot. Oh, an audacious dummy. Didn't quite work out, but it is a penalty. Will they take it quickly? Yes, they do indeed. Watch out, watch out. Still, Namliango comes straight on against the smaller players from Rift Valley. 10, 15 meters gained. The choke tackle. Referee has called them all. Oh, this doesn't look like it's going to come out. Very good tactics by Rift Valley. Held that ball up. And by holding that play up, they have turned over possession. And that is the end of the first half. It is Rift Valley 7. Nabliango College from Uganda, zero. Listen, I want to speak about that. that in And the second half about the to get started. Namdiango College from Uganda in green. And Rift Valley select in white. It is 7 0. A very entertaining first half we just witnessed. And I think our Ugandan brothers just trying to come to grips with the conditions and and this very accomplished Rift Valley team so far. A lovely step through. Referee's arm is Nobody out, high tackle. Rivali select, one to score early. Stamp the authority in this fixture. Still moving the ball quite well. Need to be careful they don't run out. Excellent play. 
unfortunately their scrum have took a bit too long with the ball but referee Hi, go takes turn. play back for the high tackle. Up no advantage. Go turn, be turn. Hey. Careful. Careful. So go turn. Here, here, here. Rift Valley player. Here. Well, he's lucky the referee has called him back. Because he knocked on that ball. Uh, the Rift Valley flyer seems to get a rush of blood to the head sometimes. It is Rift Valley. Tackle. Trying to play, come play. through. No. From the side, go back on side and then pick the ball. No, 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 no you're not in. You're not at the ten, moment, green. Namliango green, on the you're wrong end green. of the referee's whistle, pretty much at every breakdown. Oh, good hands to catch a ball that low. Stepped off the right. Scored a lovely try in the first half. Tackle, tackle, leave it. Leave it nice green. put, Rival in a very good position. Leave it, leave it. Be on side, be on side. Play. What play? Patience needed from Rival. No, no, no. Taking an eternity to come out. Referee's arm is out for advantage. Double blast of the whistle is never a good sign. On the line. Play. On the line, please. Side. Probably want to use one of the big boys. Scissors play back in. Woof. Leave it, leave it in. Luckily, he ducked. Play, play, play. And Rift Valley come on the outside. Play advantage, rock on. Thought that was a try. Indeed. Is that a try? Rock on. Well, good luck, referee, Rift sorting all that out. Calls a knock on. Scrum, ball green. Once the ball oh is dear. in, you don't pick it up again, okay? No, 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 no. Once the ball is in, don't pick uh, it up again, man. okay? You play, okay? Referee Barongo just talking him through the fact that once the ball's there, you can just you're too bring quick, it back that's in. Why you're not, hold, hold fast. I'll yeah. give you a chance. Okay. So what do Namilango do from Ouch. here? I think with the score at 7 0, they're better off just two. kicking the ball as far as they can. Okay? okay? You do that again, it's a penalty. Okay. Hold it. Crouch! Bind! Set! Hold it, hold it, Jans! Hold it, hold it, make it stable! Hold it! Okay, ball in. Yeah, it's the correct call by the referee. That's a kick that oh, went out. At least play, it relieved some pressure. Play. Well, he went quickly. Not sure if that was the most advisable option. It went very quickly. Still Rift Valley come through. I tell you what, these hands by the Rift Valley players. And to the danger man speed and he's over that is Riff Valley's second try of this match of all the teams who've played so far I think they've shown the most confidence with the ball in hand not just confidence but also the ability to be able to execute 14-0 to wait. Riff Valley wait. in the second half. Wait, play. Well in control of this game. And you do feel at this point that Namliango need to be the next team to score if they are to have any chance of coming away with something in this game. That is the right tactic, nice and deep. <laughs> yep, referee Let's called tackle. that a, a late tackle. Let's tackle. We are going back there to the, for the penalty, okay? Let's tackle. Here. Let's tackle. Here. Play. So Namliango with possession. Time is not on their side, so they take it quickly. Give it to their big man. Good hands. Lovely step on the inside. Tackle! White, white, Textbook tackle, tackle from Brief Valley. Tackle. Nice show and go play, play, by play, play. Namliango. Tackle. Isolated turnover was good. You want you dived in on, on him? That's a penalty. And Riff Valley go quickly. Not your unplayed advantage. Could this be the try to put a seal on everything? Green.
throwing the ball away is not advisable. We saw a yellow card to two Moran's Quick. players yeah. in the last game. That's actually a very sensible bit of play, but it's just the execution. But still, this just puts Nabliango deep into their half. But the chase wasn't good enough. Tackle. By Riff Valley. Leave it, leave it Solid tackle. Big man comes with it again. Tackle. Beyonside. Gains about four meters. Playing advantage offside. Referee playing advantage for the offside. It's a free play, so they can't put it to boot. Will this come off for Nabliango? No, it does not. Offside. Abo. Abo. Lots of the young men watching anxiously. Here. Offside from you. Namlango have no options but to play. They've got to try and get a score as quickly as possible. And then hopefully there'll still be time for the kickoff. Ball is out. And that is the end of the game. The final whistle has gone. It is Rift Valley selected white 14, Namliango College from Uganda in green 0. We move on to the girls uh, tournament. We have uh, two teams who are coming onto the field. Hidden talent in the yellow and blue hoops. Playing Nakuru girls in looks like white from where we are. Well, after a few minutes on this field, I think the white colors will be a mixture of brown. It's actually light blue. Hidden talent had. just getting their shape ready to receive the kick. Young man enjoying his music. Looking quite upset at why the music is being switched off. Hidden talent about to kick off from left to right. Had uh, a very a good run with the under 18 girls tournament at the nationals that were held in Machakos last week. And um, I'm sure they'll be looking to see if they can get a much better result here. Captain kicks off. Nakuru, come away with it. Okay, down, release. Release now. Release. Back on side. Still Nakuru in possession. Tackle now, roll away, roll away, yellow, roll away. Back on, back on. Retaining it well up until the knock on. It's a good attacking position for hidden talent now. That's about five meters from the Nakuru try line. Okay, relax it, guys, relax it. Ensure you are five meters if you are not part of it. Five. Retrieve back five. I think the money is on hidden talent. To at least okay. come away with something. Let's have it now. So Coach. close to the try line. Find. Set. Okay, so our stable, stable. Don't push it. Good Man defense by Nakuru. They read that well, but it's hidden talent to come through. Lots of pressure. And to the big girl who's. Driving play over the try line. Can she put it down? Yes, she can. Well done, hidden talent, hidden talent with the first score in this girls' round one clash.
Hidden talent 7. 22. Nakuru 0. She carried, I think, half the Nakuru team with her. Between us, ball, any ball you are kicking. Well, that's what you need you from kicking. your powerful players. Twenty balls. You are kicking. Sawa, take it when ready. Just behind kicker, behind kicker, behind kicker. Okay, take it. Take it, please. Take it. So sections of the crowd following proceedings keenly. That could be going dead. Well, Nakuru okay, choose tackle, to run. Please. Tackle. Advantage knock on. It's a knock on, huh? Let's have a scrum down. And this almost just seems like a replay scrum. of a, a few minutes ago. With an talent kick. Scrum, huh? Nakuru try and run out. Scrum. From deep in their half, they make an error, and it's a scrum to Hidden Talent. Probably just more of the same from Hidden Talent if they want to score another try. Perhaps the Hidden Talent fly off. She just swivel around and go to the other side. Coming straight through. Almost there. Good defense by Nakuru. Play on, play on. They should just bring it back, give in. it to the big girl and let her go through. Yes, indeed. Try is good. Okay, and then a ball. Hidden talent with their second try. Hidden talent, 14. Nakuru girls, zero. Tell you, it's not pretty to watch, but it's very effective. Back. They're just coming Don't straight and hard. Kicker back. Watch the kicker. Okay, now you can start it. Quite a few of these players were also representing their school at the national games last week. Hitch kick. Advantage high. Advantage. Solid tackle by Hidden Talent. Oh, these Nakuru girls have a lot of heart. Advantage not gained. It's ni still not out of their reach. You know, if they can get a score, Sorry. can they be right in. Tackle, please. Get back ten. Kuja, kuja, kuja. Toka ni ten. Goja, goja, goja. Niapo. Toka ten, toka ten. Toka, toka. Uh, still Nakuru okay. come. Takla release. Okay. Back on side. Took a bit too long with the release. ball. Away. Good defense by Hidden Talent. Nakuru lose about five meters because of that delay. The referee's arm is out again. Can Nakuru make use of this free play? Offside. Well, she looks like the, the, they're watching her, but it's good that they let her go 10. Advantage. It's a high. Yeah. Nakuru want to score. They need to score, in fact. That hitch kick that works so well. High tackle. Last Ripped away, but there. referee was it's playing advantage. Last warning. Last warning. Then talent get back quickly. Okay, tackle. I don't think that's Link, the right please. place to go. Into the two so biggest I'm girls on the other side. Use it Got now. away with it. Use it. Nakuru slowly have made their way close to the try line. Lovely break. Great tackle. step. Ref Oli. Referee calls high tackle. Oli. This could be yellow card. Oh dear. And I think Nakuru have scored. Time, guys. It is a try. That that was the offense earlier, not the try. But I think Nakuru then quickly took the penalty. Half time, half time, and then half time, one minute. And Nakuru have scored, and it is half time. Hidden talent 14, Nakuru girls 7.
this was the try earlier that was taken quickly. Caught everyone napping. Welcome to the second half. It is hidden talent in the yellow and blue hoops playing Nakuru girls in blue. Very tight game indeed. Hidden talent with those two quick tries at the beginning of the first half, but Nakuru have come right back at them. And they are tackling really tenaciously are the girls from the Rift Valley. Tackle is complete. Strong carry by Hidden Talent. Lovely tackle. Good hands by Hidden Talent to retain. That's not such a bad option if the chase is good. And the chase is good. Well recovered by Nakuru. Reinforcements arrived just in time. Back, play on, play on, bounce back, play on. Play Very on. called backwards, not a problem. He has ball on the ground. And ball Hidden Talent the were ground. the first to react to that. I think the girls Blue. from Nakuru thought it was a knock on. Good step. Good has it. Cover defense came through very quickly and isolated. Comes away again. Good pass. Solid tackle. And the turnover. It's a high tackle. Illegally so, high referee calls. So Nakuru want to tie this game. That's an unforced error by Nakuru. The momentum has clearly shifted in favor of Nakuru. And relax, huh? but you do feel if then talent get a score here. Let's have it now. I just be a bit too much for Nakuru to recover from. Mind. Boys who played earlier Set. from EPS Morans. Good pressure. Advantage. Excellent advantage. tackle by Nakuru. This could be the try to tie it. Cover defense came through very quickly. We go for the advantage. Yeah, it's a knock on. Let's have a scrum down. Blues ball. The turnover scrum. was legitimate, so no advantage from the knock on. Could the talent relax, is relax. a school in Nairobi. It's actually an institution in Nairobi yes, okay. for underserved children, both boys and girls, close to Riruta. Bind. And just near the area of Nairobi Set. called Dagoriti yeah. Corner. Stable. Started by a pastor, formerly of uh, Baptist ministry. It's a free kick hooking the ball. Free kick hooking called because of driving. Advantage not And Nakuru still working hard Atta. just out of our Atta. picture. It's a good tip pass. Relieve. An advantage knock on. Referee calling advantage for the knock on. Easy, it's a knock on. Let's have a scrum down. If Nakuru Blue can ball. just on from yellow. use this position that they are on scrum. the field properly. Uh, I've seen Come the on, referee scrum. look at his watch yeah. once already. Easy, easy. Relax. 
Just move it here, guys. Blue. Get close. Get close. Blue. Okay. Five meters. Coach. Five. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Bind. Set. Okay. Falling. Advantage. Good drive by Eden Talent referee playing advantage. Nakuru coming through. Pushing the you are not allowed to drive the scrum more than a meter and a half kuja, 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 in the kuja. tournament here. Wrong mark, girls. Girls, get back. Get back to the mark. Mark ndoi. Kuja, kuja kwa mark. Later, boy. Kwa mark. Sawa. And scrum up takes it quickly again. Could be it on the outside. Advantage. You have an advantage. Seemed that they rushed it a bit there. Advantage. Acha could dive in. Amka, amka. Then Talon just need to keep possession. But this is the wrong part of the field. Okay. And they've lost it. Sir, we have a fast knock on from blue. So could that be down. yellow's ball Scrum. on the last play? Last play of the game, referee still says play on. Scrum. First mistake was a knock on blue. Okay, relax it. Perhaps it's in the interest of hidden talent to Sawa. kick Sawa. deep Sawa. into Sawa. Nakuru's Sawa. half. Sawa. But if the Sawa. chase Sawa. is Sawa. not right, then One forward. it's not a good strategy. Sawa. Let's okay. see what the girls decide to do Sawa. now. And and looks like it'll have to be done again. Okay, so let's have it. I think let's have it. Perhaps the referee should just cast an eye to the binding and, and look at the second rows from Nakuru. Because it, it could be dangerous. The last play. Nine picks up. That was not wise. And that is the final play. Unfortunately for Nakuru, they just could not get that score to tie the match. Congratulations to Hidden Talent. They win their first game by 14 points to seven. And we are into game two of the girls' tournament. Queens, Queens in the Kenya Halle Queens hoops. Taking on Gilgil Vumbi girls. Gilgil Vumbi club formed last year. The year before with the... With the support of... A lot of staff members from Pembroke House and a very vibrant group of girls who don't have many tournaments that they play in. So you can see how psyched up and how much energy they have for their first game. Queens Queens, this is their home ground, their home tournament. It will, it will be interesting to see how they get on. Listen, we are playing for 10 minutes straight. We are playing for 10 minutes straight. 10 minutes straight. Yeah, yeah. Go the first. Wait first. Listen, we are playing for 10 minutes straight. Tell everyone, tell everyone, 10 minutes straight. 
अरे ड्रॉप ड्रॉप And game two of uh, the girls' tournament, Queens Queens playing Gilgil Vumbi, Queens Queens in the hoops. Vumbi coming through. Strong tackle by Queens. That needed to be a good tackle to stop that movement. Vumbi still moving the ball. Backwards. With a decoy runner going on the outside. What speed. Will she go all the way? Yes, indeed. Round one, two. No more defenders. What a try by Gilgil Vumbi at the beginning of this game. And laying down their marker early are the girls from the Rift Valley. Gilgil Vumbi, seven. Kit they're using is for the upcountry schools. Combined IPS upcountry schools, but what speed? Hapo, 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 hapo. Going right round. What the? I think this is the center. You know, Excellent try. Right. Seems to be this is the center. a style of play of uh, both the teams, both the boys and girls teams from the Rift Valley to move the ball out wide and quite confidently. And uh, Emasi also with some degree of competence. Deep kick. Queens need to be careful. They don't concede a second try early. Queens still trying to come away with it. Maybe if they have someone who can kick, they'd be better served trying to get the ball out from this part of the field <laughs> really aggressive Stop defense it. by Vumbi the mark. Letter, letter. yikes and they still take it quickly well it may, it may work out in their favor nice offload danger of being isolated Woo fell awkwardly Referee is happy with that. I don't think the girls had had the whistle. More of the same if I was uh, Gilgil Vumbi. Queens still haven't reacted to that bit of play. And to oh great hands. She lost her footing but recovered well. Still it's Vumbi in possession. Backwards. Trying to cement this lead, uh, extend this lead of theirs. Good step that tackle looks suspiciously high. Referee is happy with it. Of the ground. Yeah, that is the right call from the referee. She never released it. There. Perhaps Queens should just kick for touch. Looked suspiciously forward. Referee is happy. And that's always the danger when you're playing close to your try line. Any error becomes really costly. And that knock on by Queens means Vumbi now have a very good attacking position. Yeah. Referee has stopped the clock. Yeah. Call from the tackle. judge or assistant referee. Uh, Taj judge or assistant referee. Number 15 went high. Number 15 went high. Break. <coughs> Number 15 pins went on a high tackle. So we're going to start with a penalty for red. 
Uite, fast, uite, 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 uite. Looks like there's an offense that the referee had missed. Here's the mark. The, the girls quite understand what the call is. Maybe Queens. just needs to explain Queens. it a bit Queens, better. So it is Queens who've been penalized. Still not 10. I think teams both in the boys and the girls tournaments seem to be unaware. What power came in on the late cut. Great line straightened straight through Gil Gil Vumbi with their second try and sprinting back already. Well, they are definitely up for this. It is 14 nil to the girls from the Rifali. Backwards. Queens at the moment just don't Backward. seem to have gotten into the rhythm and the intensity of this game. That is a massive shot. That was high. Direct to the head. I think probably made head contact. Yep. That was probably lucky to just have gotten the yellow card. Because if that was straight head to head contact without any mitigating circumstances, perhaps other referees could have decided otherwise. And that sometimes is really what is not good about challenges like that because Queens are in danger of losing one of their players. Tough going for Queens at the moment. Because you do wonder what their options are. But I think the best option, if they do have someone who can kick, maybe just kick the ball forward, even if it's 10 or 5 or 10 meters, at least they move forward. And then they can play from there. I think the injury is, is, is a lot more serious than previously thought. Yeah, she doesn't look like she's going to be playing any further part in this match. Her sister and referee, I think, has come onto the field as well. Is it straight? Yeah. Is it straight? Ten straight minutes straight. Ten minutes straight. Ten minutes straight. No, this, this is still round one. Alfia Jashana usually. Ebu ni mwambia Jashana yeye. The order of play is there. This still round one. Go back please. Go back. Go back. Ona kongoi. It's still half time. We have a half time. Yeah. It's so Queens 520 are looking to run again. Deep in the half, they've not been able to get out of this stranglehold that the Vumbi girls have on them. Well, they now have a one woman advantage because Vumbi are down to nine players. <laughs> Queens, time back on. Take it quickly. There doesn't seem to be a coherent plan on what they want to do because it's just one off runners taking the ball or picking it up. No, no, no. Outside. Advantage play, play. to Queens again. She almost. Time seemed to stop still for everyone. Almost a half break there by Queens. To the credit, they've done really well. Coming the same side. Advantage over. But Vumbi seemed to able to ground. deal with that and no, 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 move back, back 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 10 back 10 ball carrier isolated boom become away lovely hands great line come through and what awareness to release the ball and then get up and play again
by the Vumbi Center. If they move this, one more pass. Indeed, over for the try. There's a try for Gilgil Vumbi on the stroke of halftime. Half Even down time. to nine One minute. players. Vumbi score to take the halftime scores to Gilgil Vumbi, half time, 14. Half One minute. Queens, zero. For six minutes. Yeah, second half. It's still round one. It's still round one. Round two, they take 10 minutes place. Away, I'm not yet tired. And work on it. I'll try and work on it. I didn't see it. I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Uh, that's how to score a try with a smile on your face. That was uh, Vumbi's second try in the first half. So we are all set for the second half of this second match in uh, the first round of the girls tournament in uh, the 2024 Easter Black Rock tournament this year moved from an adult tournament to an under 15 boys and girls event 22. we've had a heavy rain over the last uh, 24 hours and very lucky that the elements have cleared and now we have some sunshine You're on this side, you're on this side. At what time? It will be tricky. Let me just call you back in a few minutes. And Queens with a strong carry. And draw the first penalty of the second half. And I think Queens realize the urgency of how they need to play at the moment. Lovely offload. Passing quite good to hand. That will be a turnover to Vumbi. She probably had more time than she realized. Move back, back. Vumbi, try scorer from the first half, picks up from where she left off. Grounding first, try. She didn't even know she'd got to the try line. And that is Vumbi's third try of this match. Gilgil Vumbi 21, Queens, Queens 0. Power and speed. Back, back, back. No substitute for it on the rugby field. Kick off deep again. No con. It's just not working out for Queens in this game. Trump. And it happens sometimes in a rugby match when it's the ball is not rolling away uh, you just don't get the rub of the green and at the moment everything seems to be going no contesting in the, in the scrum so. Vumbi's way come close come close so it's a scrum to Vumbi 10 meters from the Queen's try line space on the left and right crouch I think the odds are that if Vumbi get this scrum right Chances are that they'll probably score. The foot. Ball went backwards. Good pressure from Queens. 
from the base. Good. Double pump from the Vumbi center. But they've made this very difficult for themselves. They've gone back almost 15 meters. But what's important is they're still in possession. Good turnover by Quinns. Now what can they do from here? That was the right idea. In danger of being isolated. Will be quickly on the ball. Back 10, back 10. Faria a bit lenient. Just trying to get the girls move to move back, back. Move back. On him, on him. Is there a break after this? Vumbi with a set play. They've let the ball do the work for them. Oh, that is a lovely try by the girls from the Rift Valley. Moved the ball to the right, moved it to the left. The ball did all the hard work. What looked like an, an easy run-in was actually not that easy, but made by all the work that was done before. And now this is the highest score in any of the boys and girls tournaments so far today. It is Vumbi 28, Queens nil. 35, I beg your pardon. Mr. Try there. Still playing advantage. No contest. No contest. Some possession for Queens. Scrum. As we wind down to the end of this match, can Queens get a consolation try to at least finish the game with something? They are a long way from the try line, though. Oh, well done. And the Vumbi girls are so quick at the breakdown. Back ten, back ten. Come. Come. I think the referee has lost patience with the Queen's players. Back, back, move back. On him. Move back. Back, Queen's, move back. Constant infringement, uh, not going back. The prerequisite 10 meters. Vumbi come away with it. Really organized side with how they are, they are playing their rugby, both in attack and defense. No Unfortunate. Knock on another breakdown. Scrum. Can see the body language of the Queen's players. Uh, Is the mark. Come. Bit of frustration, but it happens when you're playing a good team. I think that's the hooter. This will be the last play of this match. Can Queens get a try? Move it out wide. That's the right plan. Backwards. Pass and execution. Not quite there. Full time. And that is the end of the game. Queens, Queens, zero. Gilgil Vumbi, 35. And Gilgil Vumbi girls putting down a marker and making a statement as probably one of the favorites in this tournament. Guys. Guys. Wait, I next. Can I go next? Guys. Guys. Guys, I'm going 
Não, não, não. So next we have Kenya Harlequins under 15 boys taking on Gilgil Vumbi under 15 boys queens in their traditional quarters. Gilgil Vumbi playing in white and blue. Should be an interesting matchup. We're now starting round two of the boys tournament. I will be handing you over to my very capable colleague Charles Cadovillis. Uh, it has been a real pleasure being with you through the morning. I am Paul Odera, and uh, this uh, tournament is one a lot of us played in right through as juniors at club rugby and into as seniors, and it's good to see it developing into an age grade tournament. You think an age grade tournament would not be development, but it is actually because this is the future of the game. So Gil Gil Vumbi in uh, their uh, white-ish tops playing from right to left. Queens in uh, the familiar burgundy maroon magenta quarters. Have I missed a color? Black. So we are off now. Round two. Boys tournament. Queens moving the ball quickly. Queens kicking immediately. Bit of a juggle there. Scrum, money time. I think the Vumbi fullback will feel a bit hard done by that. Looked like it went backwards, but what the referee has called is what the referee has called. Coach! Bind! Set! Hold! Hold! Bind! Queen's coming away with it. Very different strategy from their first game. Tackle! What's going on? Wait, run away. Tackle, run away. Penalty. Took a five. I thought that, that is indeed the try line. Penalty. Penalty. Uh, in the full pitch. Oh, the, the try line has now been extended. Good tackle by Vumbi. Still Queens in co possession and in control. Almost rewarded by the referee there. A good step, but he left the ball behind. No call. Come. By the side. So now we are playing the full length of the field. After initially because of the wet ground earlier in the day. Crouch! Bind! Set! Hold! Bind! What's that? Turia? Turia? Get out! Won't be risky play, but it could be high reward. 
Hold back. That's a very treacherous part of the ground to try and play away from. Really strong play. Still Vumbi with a strong carry. Just over to the 22. Queen's putting a lot of pressure. Finally, Vumbi put the kick away. It's a wobbly old kick though. Still Queen's attacking. Charles Cadovili is Karibu. Santisana, Paul Udera. Yes, indeed. And it's Queen's on the attack. One more pass should do it. That pass needed to go. And it's all happening here at the moment. Referee's arm is out, playing advantage to the boys from Rift Valley. What? That, I think, is the wise strategy at the moment. Looks suspicious, like a knock on referee is happy with that. Tackle! Yeah, but the tackling from some of these Gilgil boys. It's been very interesting. I mean, <laughs> we're talking about Gilgil Vumbi. We were watching the girls earlier on. And uh, people quite surprised that there's rugby in Gilgil. Paul, you know about rugby in Gilgil. Indeed, that dusty old town. As, as you climb up to Al Kalau, does produce some rugby. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will now sign off. Uh, thank you very much for your company this whole morning. I'll leave you in the capable hands. The one and only Charles Cadovillis is going to take you through the rest of the action. It's been a pleasure being with you. Uh, enjoy the rest of the Easter Blackrock 2024 Under 15 Rugby Competition. Santa Sana Polodera. As we watch Queens and Gilgil Vumbi. No team has been able to breach the others. Defense. Gilgil Vumbi conceding, conceding a penalty there. Queens opting to go for the kick. They'll go for the line out. Playing, playing, playing it safe in what is some really it's been it's been a horrid morning a lot of rain it's drying up now very difficult conditions for these young players to play in queens on the attack there oh a lack of concentration and Let's play. knock on Gilgil Vumbi we'll get the scrum down Crouch. just over the halfway line Bye. get an opportunity to attack just about six minutes gone on the clock Gilgil Vumbi with the ball Great step there, Gilgil Vumbi taking it to contact. Queen's defensive structure. <laughs> Trying to hold their lines. Very slow ball. Again, another Welcome. mistake. Half time. Then One minute. Three centre referee calls for half time. Nil nil. Again, it's been a mistake ridden first half. And let's see what the coaches have to say and see if we can get some points on the board for both teams. Quinn's nil, Gilgil Vumbi nil. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Easter Black Rock, hosted by Kenya Harlequins at the RFUA grounds, Nairobi. It's turning out to be a great, great deal of rugby. It's great to see these young talents play this.
thank you to Akili Kids for making this happen. Second half about to kick off. Kick off by Queens. They go deep into the 22. Gilgil Vumbi retrieve the ball. Breaks the first tackle. Slow ball there. Queens counteracting. Gilgil Vumbi just getting out of their 22 there. Trying to breach this Queens line. Roughly playing advantage, a high tackle there. Good give Wumbi get the get the penalty. They want to go quickly. Kick not getting touched, but Queens mess it up there. Knock on. Referee calls for the scrum. It's just over the halfway line. Gilgil Vumbi have another chance to attack. As you can see from the shots on the TV, I mean, it's not very easy conditions to play in for these young, young lads. Scrum feed. Gilgil Vumbi. Referee stops play. Gilgil Vumbi ball running through the back line gets it out to the winger beats the first man beats the second man oh great tackle there by Quinns Gilgil Vumbi still have the ball Queen's defense they are desperate get the ball Gilgil Vumbi have numbers out here White and great tackle and oh knock on again i mean era era strewn game queen's defense holding up forcing another mistake there by gilgil vumbi queen's will have the put in just outside their 22. Queens put in. Ball goes out to the back line. Number 10 decides to put the foot on it. And again, another knock on. Referee stops play. Gilgil Vumbi will have another chance to attack. It's nil nil here at the Easter Black Rock, Kenya Harlequins. Hosting this event. Both teams trying to see here who can breach the line first. Yogi Vumbi going blind, attacking the blind side. Queen's defense standing strong. Gilgil Vumbi still have the ball. Comes out, spreading that ball. Again, ball goes to ground. Another mistake. It's not. It's not been pretty to watch, but we don't blame the players. Really, really tough conditions to play in here. Queens have a chance with. Um, 
just over a minute and a half on the clock left. Let's see what Queens can pull out here. Queens put in. Lovely attack there. Passes the ball to the winger. Keeps the ball in hand. Strong defense there. There, but Gil Gil Vumbi turnover. Queens will have to defend again. They've done a lot of defending in this game. Gil Gil Vumbi attacking the Queens line. Pass down to the winger. There he goes. Great set of wheels. And he's broken through. And it's a try. A try. try to Gil Gil Vumbi. Finally. Great set of wheels there. Beating that entire Queen's defense. And getting that line. Getting that ball over the dotted line. Queen's Vumbi taking the lead at a crucial time. Gilgil Vumbi 7. Queen's nil. Kickoff to Gilgil Vumbi. Queens, let's see what Queens can do. They'll need to. Pretty much no time on the clock. Decides to go to boot. I don't think it was a clever decision. Gil Gil Vumbi, if clever, will get this ball out. But they decide to play it. Gil Gil Vumbi still attacking. Time's run out on the clock. But they're still playing it. Big run there, but just runs out of space and goes into touch. And that's the game. Gilgil Vumbi 7. Queens 0. Harlequins losing that game and Gilgil Vumbi being able to score right at the death there. And claiming victory over Queens. That was uh, quite a difficult game to say uh, to play in these conditions. We're here at the East of Black Rock. Kenya Harlequins hosting the East of Black Rock. Got this live coverage courtesy of Akili Kids. We've got Dubai Exiles playing Nakura RFC next. What should be an interesting encounter? Dubai Exiles, obviously, um, on tour, courtesy of Kenya Harlequins. Nakuru RFC making the trip down to Nairobi to grace the tournament. You can see them get into their pre-game rituals. Looking very psyched up about this. Should be an interesting encounter. Been sitting in the touchlines there and you get a very animated Dubai Exiles um, technical bench. Very interesting to watch. Kick off in a few Nakuru RFC kicking off playing Dubai Exiles. Great take there by Dubai Exiles. They keep it tight. Playing with the big boys in the forwards. Now taking it out wide, Dubai Exile still with the ball. Oh, referee playing advantage there. 
It was a high hit on the Dubai Exiles player from Nakuru. Still keeping it tight. You can see what their game plan is. Very simple. Playing to the conditions. The referee says no advantage and he pulls them back for the high tackle. Exiles opting to go for the line out. In the strike zone there, they get over <coughs> Nakuru's uh, just at the 22 mark. You see the other players. We've got the young girls also here who've been showcasing some very good rugby too. That is Dubai Exiles with the ball now. Turnover, great defense by Nakuru. They decide to take it quickly. Oh, what a break. There he goes. He caught the Dubai Exiles. Defense snapping all the way through. He gets a oh, brilliant tackle there by the Exiles. Great work. Nakuru still have the ball. Great break. And there he goes. Almost over. Yo. Brilliant try. Referee says it's good. The cr oh no, he says no. I think he called double movement. He called a double movement there and it's tries disallowed. Great run there. From the young lad. I have my own opinion on that, but um referee is always right at the end of the day. Penalty there by the Exiles. Again, keeping it tight, using their big boys. Pass doesn't make the hand. Nakuru, really. But the referee says they were offside. Exiles get out. Get out of jail there. Again, they go out for the kick. Makes all of 20, 20 meters or so. Exiles will have another chance to attack and set a platform. Exiles again. Maintaining their game plan and keeping it tight with the big boys. Nakuru's defense holding firm. Nakuru opting to go for the kick. Exiles, big chase there. Retrieves the ball. Nakuru's defense been caught wanting. Oh, ref pulls out the arm. Not right there. Dubai. The Exiles. Big run there from the big boy. Cover defense comes across. Five meters out from the Nakuru try line. Knock on, ref calls them back. He was playing advantage. Exiles, technical bench. Very anxious, very anxious bench there. You'd want to take advantage of this. I can only see them going one route, using the big boys again. And there they go. And there he goes. Big run. Gets over the try line. And it's a try for Dubai Exiles. Too strong there for the Nakuru boys. Seven points. Dubai Exiles. Nakuru nil. 5.25 on the clock. 
Some of those Nakuru players not not happy with their teammates. And the exiles take advantage of that some missed tackling. <laughs> Dubai exiles the technical bench. They've been a joy to watch, to be honest. <laughs> All weekend. Very animated on the on the touchline. Really giving a lot of stick to their boys. Kick off to the exiles. Goes off the left. Players. Big fend breaks one, breaks two. Nakuru need to get this ball out wide. Ball not going to hand. Still manages to break one. Nakuru still on the offensive. Again, being able to get one or two tackles, but man gets isolated there and Dubai exiles able to get the turnover. Playing with the clock there. Referee says we'll have one more. One more play. We're just outside the Nakuru 22. Dubai exiles in the strike zone. Let's see how they decide to go this way. Again. To the big boys. Oh, ball not going to hand. Nakuru on the break. Lovely pickup. Big cover defense there by Dubai Exiles. Nakuru just outside the 22. Oh, referee says holding on. Penalizes Nakuru. Boys are not happy. Lucky. Dubai Exiles getting out of jail. Bench telling them to kick it out. Time's up. Get out of there. Let's go have a word. My exiles again. Forwards have been working tremendously hard. And they keep going. Nakuru on the back foot now. Quick ball offside. Referee playing advantage. Nakuru boys seem to just sort of lost all their confidence completely. And the exiles playing with their heads held high. Again, back to their forwards. Pass goes behind the man, but they still have the ball, still attacking. Trying to breach this Nakuru defense. Driving one, two. 10 meters out. Exiles still have the ball. Ball in hand. Again. They need to get it out wide. Nakuru's defense holding strong. Again, the exiles. Just looking for the numbers out wide, but there was a great pickup there. But conditions. calls it again the exiles five meters out with the big boy running retain the ball knock on 
Nakuru defense there held strong pressure and that's it the exiles win this one 7-0 beating Nakuru great game here the joy on the exiles face is um, is telling they've enjoyed this one it was a tough one but they took their chances beating Nakuru 7-0 we're at the Easter Black Rock Kenya Harlequins RFUA grounds Nairobi under 15 tournament great exhibition of rugby by the young kids commentary courtesy production courtesy of Akili kids Next game, Prince, Prince Rugby versus Rugby Game. Rugby Game, led by good buddy of mine and Rugby Brain. Tennis Game doing a lot of good work with um, rugby development. Time you run, yeah? Time you run. Great kickoff, great retention, great tackle. So released by the tackler. Release the ball. Mm. says holding on. Pass the ball out there, trying to get out of the attendee too. Great offload. Defense holding strong. Backwards. Uh, go back on. Ball's open. Advantage. <laughs> you you tackle the player without the ball. Game rugby in attack there. Beats the first man. Defense. Oh, defense forces the mistake. Referee says play on. Advantage, knock on by. It's messy at the ground. Ref says he's had enough. Let's bring it to a stop. Scrum down. Game rugby ball. Remember, We're here at the Easter Black Rock. Are a few grounds. Coach! The weather's been kind to us later on this afternoon. It's Game Rugby versus Prince Rugby. Set! Nil nil under 15. Backward! Game Rugby on the attack. Breaks the first tackle. Goes through, tries the fend. Big hit. Doesn't bring him down. Forces the mistake, knock, knock on, on by game rugby. 
penalty. Prince Rugby finally Local have side. yellow get ten. Finally get a chance 10, to 10, 10 to, the AR. to attack. AR, whenever you're ready. If she says penalty, they decide to go for the for touch. Deep. It's a knock on. Oh wow, ball didn't go out. Contest was good knock on. <laughs> Mistake there. Scrum. But game rugby get out of jail. They'll get the scrum down just outside their five. Mark is here. Under pressure here. In these conditions, they want to be clever and try and get the ball out of here. Coach! Bind! Game rugby is put in. Now hold, hold, hold. Big scrum there by Prince, putting them under all sorts of pressure. The referee says he didn't like what he saw. And Game rugby get the, get the penalty. They take a quick tap. Trying to move the ball out wide. Big hit there, holding the man up. This Prince Rugby boys seem to have a bit of muscle on them. And just sort of manhandling and playing around with these game rugby boys. Foot to ball, kicks the ball down the line. Doesn't get into touch. Prince Rugby with the ball, steps one. Fence one going through big knock, pass. Knock, oh, knock on. Knock on. Ref says nope. I really Went backwards. You. Play on. Prince Rugby have the ball. Trying to get over this uh, game rugby defense line. Big run there. Look at him stride through. And he gets over the line. What is he doing? Oh. The conversion. Try time. Try time. Yellow out, yellow out. To Prince yeah, Rugby there. Hey, After he was answer. toying around and fiddling with the ball. Yellow out, yellow out. Big long strides. Prince Rugby have had hardly had any ball in this half. They've been defending. And they get over the line there. Seven nil to Prince Rugby. It's the Easter Black Rock at the RFUA grounds, hosted by Kenya Harlequins. Ball! Exciting tenor side rugby. Ball. Under 15s. Ball! All I'd say is that. Um, Ball! I can imagine what these. Um, Ball. What's going through the minds and the feelings for these players playing in this tournament. Yeah, I can't Ball! All eyes on them. Kudos to them, boys and girls. Uh, bring, bring, bring the ball. Enjoy yourselves. Game rugby seven. Aye. Prince nil. Time your run. Six fifteen gone on the clock. Game rugby kicks off. They go deep. Prince Rugby. From here. From here. From here. From here. Get in. Get in. Get in. Just pass. You pass the ball. Start Gives up. a chance now to game to attack. Aye. Seems Aye. eager to go. And that's it. Steps one. Steps two. Offloads. Relief. Royal. Straightens up the kick there. Ball. Clearing ball. out ball. that ball. run. Long pass out wide to the winger there. It's the man. And defense Release. was there. Release the ball, yellow ball. Touch. Taking the man out into play. Leave the ball. I hate it. Prince Rugby now can regroup. Just pass. Take a quick tap. Pass the ball. It's Try okay. to move it out wide. One, two, three. Ball stays in hand. Ops to go to the boot. Ball goes out to Live. The play. Live. Just on the 10 oh, yard. 10, 10, 10. Again, game rugby have another chance to attack.
Picks the first tackle. No, yeah, yo! Good recovered defense Good there. play, advantage. The referee hand is out. Man down. Advantage offside. The free playing advantage. But game rugby, they've got numbers out wide. Ball doesn't go to hand. Beats one. Still keep the ball alive. Good rugby there by the game rugby boys, keeping the ball in hand. Getting some there. faces going. Oh, referee calls them back. Offside. Leave the ball. Offside. It's their ball. Offside. Game H -ball. ball again. Prince boys are under a lot of pressure. They're not kicking key, drop kick. Wow, interesting. The game boys decide to go for the drop kick. Not a very good drop kick there. Hardly makes the yards. Ah, it's okay, line out. And Prince clear line. their lines. Ah, dead. There's a mark. There's a mark. One Ten minute to me. go. Ten off me. Ten off me. Ten off me. Ten the format me. is simple. It's yes, um, get ten. Hold. ten aside rugby. Ten minutes straight. Oh, wait. Uh, come. Prince rugby with the ball. Let's see what they can do. Ball. Game rugby will need to. Sorry, um, Prince Rugby will need to try and steal this ball and make a score, but it doesn't look that way. Game Rugby look too strong. Change of direction. Breaks the first tackle. Goes through second. And he's over the try line. Under the posts. Great Rugby there. Keeping the ball in hand. Good game. Full Prince time. Rugby there left in sixes full and time. sevens. Good game, full time, full time, full time. Full time, eh? Send it. Obviously, no way back here for Prince Rugby. Misha. Game Rugby winning that one 14 nil. Beating Prince Rugby. We missed it there. Referee blew for half for full time. Next game coming up, Namilongo College, our good friends from Uganda, taking on Nairobi Select, what should be a very, very interesting encounter at the Easter Black Rock Festival, under 15s, RFUA grounds. This production brought to you courtesy of Akili Kids. This is a small little East African Derby. Let's see what's going on. It's great to have the Ugandans in town. Thank you for gracing the tournament. Kick off Lamlyongo, but it goes deep, dead. It's not the way you want to start the game. There will be select will have the advantage and take it all back, back to the to the halfway line. Yeah, as you can see, we had a heavy downpour last night and this morning, you not know, making the conditions very conducive. It's dried up a bit. And hopefully, these boys and girls can express themselves with the ball today. Hopefully, the the rain holds up. Nairobi select with the ball. Tackle. Trying to breach that Uganda defense. 
Use it. Makes the first tackle, but slips. Turnover is good. Wet conditions. Turnover is good. Great counter rack there. Turnover. Oh, great. Pass was just too hard. Referee calls them back for the knock on. Scrum. Scrum down. Stay fiver. Crutch. Bind. It's it in. Oh, well, it's out. big, big drive there by the big boys from Uganda. Winning that ball against the head. Big run there from the big man with the headgear. Getting to Nairobi Selects 22. Quick pick and over under the posts. Great, great rugby there. You can either select, either choose to leave it or you can just head away. Great set of rugby there. Quick ball, just caught the Nairobi select guys napping. Defense couldn't keep up with that. All started from that. From the scrum against the head. Namliongo seven. Ben the kicker. Nairobi Let select ready, no zero. Kick off there, the Nairobi boys Tackling with the ball. There. Penalty. Referee calls them back. Not really, not really taking his time with that kick. I mean, concentration levels there, not good at all. But lucky to him, the ball still goes out. His teammates and his coach won't be happy about that. Get back ten. Yeah. Back ten. Quick tap there. Nairobi select. Carries. A call. Hands, hands, hands. Takes two to bring him down. Thank you. Again, the Uganda is just too powerful at the contact area and that's a big run from the big boy they're not going to stop him or are they? no they're not great run there from the big boy puts it under the posts the Uganda is just too powerful at the contact area counteracting that ball turning it over it's Naminyongo College, 14. Nairobi Select, 0. 4 minutes 30 gone on the clock. Where are the RFUA grounds, home of Kenya Harlequins, home of Kenya Rugby, at the Easter Black Rock. There goes the big run from the big man. Enjoying himself. Great valiant attempt there by the Nairobi Select player, but it was just a little too strong and too fast. 14 0 kickoff, Namliongo. Thank you. Again, playing with a lot of confidence. Decides to go to the boot, is charged down. I think they made the wrong decision there. Again, to the boot. I guess the players are just scared of the conditions a bit here, so a lot of them just going to the boot. Not very easy to play in these conditions. The so referee calls them back and Nairobi Select will have a chance now to, to attack. Penalty just, just about at the halfway. Let's see what Nairobi Select can do. Ball doesn't go to hand. 
still recovers it. Uganda's just look too strong at the moment. Referee was not happy with that tackle. Nairobi select go again. Trying to take the ball out wide again. The ball doesn't go to hand. It's, it's messy. The Ugandans pick it up. Big run. Last ditch tackle. Quick ball. Right back. Ball doesn't go to hand. Referee says play on. The local boys get it. Some reprieve. Trying to get out of their 22. Again. No advantage wow. again. Come back to the first local. It's not pretty. A lot of mistakes. Scrum. Nothing like the previous game. Namlyongo with us with the scrum. Sorry, Nairobi select Fine. with the scrum, seeing what they can do. Last time the Ugandans turned this over, they've really powerful. Really powerful. Our referee calls them for calling early. And play on. Nairobi select take it quickly. From the side, seven from the side. Legal entry again, we take it again. Quick dummy there. Tackle. The next game, we'll be coming up with the Indian talent and the new sports. But because that is category, the latest category, easier to Down the field, just getting over the halfway. Defendants receive the ball. Trouble here from Nairobi Select. Hold the man up in the tackle. Goes down to ground. Let us play quickly. There's a big boy running through. Big ball again. The Nairobians are in trouble. Big step. Oh, Post it. pass doesn't get to there. To hand gets intercepted. Not clever again. Nairobi in trouble. From the counter attack, big fend, breaks one, two. Referee says the ball goes backwards. They need to get it out quickly. Turnover. Nairobi select getting out of jail there. Ref stops the play, we have a man down. The Ugandans are really bullied, the Nairobi select team. Ball. Nairobi boys just holding on for dear life. The man down, take a break. RFUA grounds, Easter Blackrock. Namlyongo College from Uganda. Karibu, Karibu, Kenya. Hope you're enjoying your stay. Leading 14-0 against Nairobi Select. Break and play with an injured player. And the scene's a lot happening. Lots for the kids to do. Akili kids have turned up. Wish I was 15 again. Let's just see what's happening as we 
take a small break. Looks like the young man will not be able to carry on. The substitution is brought on. Hope it's not too serious. As long as he's sitting up, it's a good sign. Young man is helped. The ambulance, I hope you'll be okay. As Nairobi Select look to get out of their holding. Look to get out of their 22. One minute on the clock left. They'll love to go for the kick. I don't think there's enough time for them to recover from this. But let's see if they can just get some points on the board. Kick is successful, but just outside the 22. Their ball, get back 10, begin the 5, 10, play zone. There will be select penalty. And again, they opt to go for the boot. I just don't think it's the right decision. This Ugandan, and just like I said, these Ugandan runners are really strong on that counter attack and runs all the way through. It's just too easy. Just too easy, wrong decision there to kick the ball into the hands of these dangerous players. And the Ugandans cross, cross the dotted line again. Namliongo, 21. Nairobi selects zero. And the referee says, we've had enough. The Ugandans beating Nairobi selects 21-0 just too strong too powerful and I just think the Nairobi boys just made all the wrong decisions Namlongo College 21 Nairobi select zero for the Easter Blackrock Festival hosted by Kenya Harlequins at the RFUA grounds Gong Road Nairobi under 15's 10's Girls and boys, it's loads of fun out here. As you can see, the teams on the pitch going through their pre pre game rituals. It's really exciting and fun to watch. Thanks. Thank you to Kenya Harlequins, Akili Kids. For putting this together. Hey, time! I do not time here, yo. Easter Blackrock is back. And I'm told it can only get bigger and better. Up next, Hidden Talent versus Little Sport Girls. Red, are you ready? Red, ready? Some girls rugby, it's ready? great to see girls playing here at this level, under 15. Behind Amazing the stuff. Be behind the kicker. Be behind the kicker. It just shows you that the interest in rugby is, is growing every day. Taco! Taco! Hidden talent with the kickoff. No, play advantage offside! 
on the defense. Offside. Yeah, 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 run, run. Be turn, be turn, yellow, be turn. Be turn. Taco. Play advantage, knock on. Little sport. Back, cannot cannot advantage control that game. goal, knock on. No, one obstruction, so it's up. Referee brings the play Scrum. to stop. Yellow ball. Scrum to hidden talent. Hidden talent in the yellow and blue, is it? Yeah, little sport. Crouch! Bang! Set. I hope that's right. Hold it, hold it, hold it, wait. Hold it. Hidden talent. Um, no. Advantage of scrum. Side. Attacking, referee playing advantage, trying to get the ball out wide. Big hit up there, good hit. Offside referee line. pulls them back, no advantage. Line offside. Be turn, go back turn. Good talent. Hey, go low, but play advantage high. Big run, big hey, hit. Low. Referee Tackle playing low. advantage, it was a high hit there. Tackle low. Trying to get the ball out wide. In the hands, oh, intercept. The referee is going to call them back, I believe. Hi. Yes, yes. From you, hi. Go low. <laughs> the referee was playing advantage. No advantage there. Back, back ten. Hidden talent, get out of jail. Please, go low. The Let's see what they can come card. up with here. Just, just at the ten. Play. Use it. 10 meter line over there, over the halfway. Went Big hit taking it up in the forwards. Ball doesn't go to hand. It's on the ground. No one can pick it up. Obstruction. Beaten, beaten, yellow. Ah, up, 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 red. Red. Sport get the penalty. It's their chance to attack. First time beaten. they have the ball. Quick hands there. Yellow, leave it, Trying don't to breach his defense. Slow play from the left. Wayward. Picked up there by Hidden Talent Defense. Great offload. Leave it, leave it, yellow, leave it. Ball open, ball open. Turnover. It's, it's messy, it's scrappy. Knock on. Referee says knock on. Hidden talents ball. Scrum. Just over the halfway line. Let's see what hidden talent up have up their sleeves. And crouch. Bind. Set. Tulia Gonza, Tulia, Usiake, Tulia Gonza, Stable. I attended. Play advantage. Hidden talent to the put in. Gets the ball out there. Despite the pressure, beats the first defender. Great offload there. Taco! Staying on the pitch. They need play, to get play, this ball play. out quickly. Good work. Well, oh no. Knock on. Knock on. From you. But they have a, Just some a, a, great a work there. Just of loss of concentration. Offside. The referee Nine. calls it back. Says Nine B onside. It's sour. Offside. Back. So hidden talent have the ball again. Play, play, play. Little sport. Hardly had any ball, but they're doing well defending. Big fan there. Great offload. Can't keep the ball in hand. It's knock on. Scrum. I'm a line up. Scratch. Go 10. Go 10. Five minutes on the clock, little sports. Let's see what they can do. They've hardly had any ball. First time they really get any ball. Oh, big hit. Runs straight into two defenders. She does well to retain the ball. Goes backwards. Referee calls them back. Infringement there by a hidden talent.
Ты? Taco! Watch out! Great attack there. Ball goes out. Taco! Big hit there. The hidden talent girls. Turnover. Only one be up. Great work there in defense. Go turn, go turn, go turn, Take it quickly. Bring advantage, go turn. Catches a little sport defense hold napping. It, go turn. Referee well, says they hadn't gone 10 meters. Go turn. Hidden please. talent have another chance to Abba. attack. Okay, let's go. They go again. Advantage high, please go low. Tackle low. Quick ball, they come to the blind side. Tackle! Not much Don't room there. Great tackle from Little Sport. Moving the ball well now. Great job, Taco! great hands. Leave it, leave it, Red. Play, 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 play. Tackle, Tucker Red. Over advantage. Continuity going on here, this is good. Tackle, Tucker. Tucker Red. Questions of this defense from Little Sport. Hidden talent. Tackle. Still got the ball, great watch hands watch there. Red, Ops to go from the boot. Big chase on. Can she get there? Oh, great pickup. Drive. Taco, 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 there. Taco, Taco, They've got numbers out wide on the left. Taco, 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 Let's see what they can do with it. And it's a try. Try time by Hidden Talent. Great, great work. As they say, the kick is as good as the chaser. Well, we're not going to talk about that kick. Great try there. You can see it just powering over the line. Great awareness. Good job by Hidden Talent. Hidden Talent 5. Sports Zero. Taco! Oh, great break there. Knock on. But again. Scrum. Los Sport have hardly had any ball, and the Taco. little ball they get, Taco. they make a mistake there. Again, giving the advantage to Hidden Sport. Really putting themselves under pressure with those mistakes. And no surprise that Hidden Sport are ahead. And let's see what they can do. Just, just over the 10 mark in the strike zone. Let's see what they can do with this ball. Great big Taco! shot run. Great hit. Advantage high. Play, Good play. pressure there from Low Sport. Referee has his arm out. Advantage watch to out, Hidden out, Sport. Man. Hidden talent, sorry. Continue playing. Big ball. Play, play, big park, drive. Play. Knock on. No advantage. Captain. Captain Red. Referee wants a word. He's not happy. I just want to go and get an arm, which is red. Needs to make a decision here. No. Hidden talent five, lot sport zero. I was not supposed to throw, to throw a card, but something going on there. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. And just a yellow card there to the low sport player. I think the referee was getting his... His yellow card was in the tailgate area. It wasn't in his pocket. <laughs> Back to the game. Hidden talent. With a girl over. Let's see what they can do. Good break there. Play, play, not a call. Just play, not a call. Just call. Trying to make the ball work. Trying to spread these Leave it. lost spot girls. Get the ball in hand. Back, back, beyond the seventh phase. Back, beyond side, don't tackle. Oh, great, great try Keep out play, there. No space. What? Play, play. Offload, great hands. Big Captain, counter you have an, But again, referee's not happy, stops the play. Upper. Ah, yeah. Good Offside. handling skills there, it's some of the best Offside. we've seen today. Lots of phases going on there from hidden talent. Tackle. Despite the conditions. Play. And they have a chance here now to increase their lead. Big run there from the Taco. number nine. Gets over the gain line. Five meters to go. Again, a big carry. Lovely. Great try. Referee awards a try. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant work there from Hidden Talent. It's done. Taking advantage of their numbers, no doubt. This talent defense was not going to hold up that long. Great run, you can see the power running here. Goes through the two the defenders, gets down. Talk about awareness, reaches out and puts that ball over the dotted line. Well done. And referee says, enough's enough. Hidden talent 10. Little sport, zero. This is the Easter Black Rock hosted to you, hosted by Kenya Harlequins at the RFUA grounds, Nairobi. Brought you live by Akili Kids. It's a festival of rugby, under 15s, boys and girls. Couldn't get any better. Next up, Rift Valley taking on Nairobi Select. We saw Nairobi Select. Nairobi Select boys get a bit of a hiding from the Ugandans. Let's see if their girls, the girls side can do much better against the girls from the Rift Valley. Back play on. Really impressive to see leave it, leave it. so many teams Queens, out of Atta, Nairobi Queens, leave it. Atta, Atta. coming here. Nakuru, Rift Valley. I know Gem with his rugby, he has quite a big, big selection and players out of Nanyuki and all over the country. Big run there. If there's one thing we need to work on is um, obviously our drop kicks, but you can see the big run there. As I was just commending all the teams that have come out of Nairobi or from outside Nairobi to grace us. The girls from Rift Valley go under the dotted line. It's over here. This is the center line. Don't be ahead of the kicker. Breaching that Nairobi select defense. 
We've seen teams from Gilgil. Nakuru. Ooh, big hit. Okay, now. Still hangs on. Big run there by the game girls. You're offside. Ahead of the ball, you're offside. It's over here. Referee didn't like what he saw there. Decides to take things on our own. Play on. Offload, does it work? It's intercepted. No, 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 no. Okay. Queen's girls with the ball. It's the ball to foot. Okay, advantage, high tackle. Advantage. You have an it's advantage, high tackle. Use it. Game rugby have the advantage. Play the ball on the blind side. Big fend. Takes one, two to bring her down. Keeping it up tight. Away, away, away. Leave it. See the determination in her face to get over that. Do not roll away fast. Affect Gain play. line. Let's have it here. It's a penalty. And referee was not happy with what he saw. Again, they're off. Quick tap. Okay, roll away. Nice direct running there okay, from the game girls. Really want to make amends really? Really? for that try they conceded, making quite a bit of ground. Tackle. Okay. The Queens girls playing in in front of their home crowd will want to. Give the crowd something to cheer upon. Diving in, in, into the right. Diving into the right. No, 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 it's not yours. But that we are frowning upon is the game girls. Back 10, back 10, back 10. Back 10. Game girls back 10, back, back, back. Uh, win the penalty there. It's game five. Queen zero. Let's have a scratch at the five. Back 10. Four minutes gone on the clock. Back 10, back 10. Queen's back. Can play. Ball to boot. But the Queen's girls chasing back. She lets you go this counter attack. Great defense there from the game girls. Really putting their bodies on the line. Great run there. It's okay. From the quills. You have it. You Prince have girls. It. Over here, holding ball on the ground. Referee was not happy with Back what he 10. saw. Turnover. Back ten. Apart. Game girls, take it quickly. Okay, now you can play. Short ball. Trying to breach this Queen's defense. Lovely run there. Mad. Takes three to bring her down. Great ball retention by the game back, girls. Back, oh, back. commentator's curse, I guess. Oh, great pressure there from the Queen's defense. Oh, referee calls her back. She's not happy. Kicks the ball into the arms. Good job. Watch on safety, back 10, back 10. If we didn't like that, Gem girls get out of jail. Decide to go for the kick. Oh. Okay, now. We No good, kick goes dead. Okay, scrum, option, no? Let's have a scrum or a kick. Four minutes left on the clock. Let's see what the Queen's girls can come up with. Give the home crowd something to cheer about. Scrum down to Queen's just over the 10 meter line. I'm calling it. Crouch! Bind! Going. 
Queens win the feed. Takes the ball, trying to get it out wide. Okay, advantage knock on. It's a knock on. Let's have a scrum down. Black ball. Scrum. Sour, relax. Who go? Okay. I'm calling it. Crouch. Scrum down. Bind. Set. Sour. Like about. Don't push. Don't push it. Game girls with the feed. Just on the halfway mark. Play on. Get the ball out wide. Doesn't go to hand. Tries to beat the defense. Great dummy there. Great break. They're not going to catch her. Oh, slips. Great offload. Brilliant hands there from the Gem girls. Wow. Try is good. Wow, wow, wow. That is brilliant. Brilliant rugby there from the Gem girls to increase their lead to 10. Nil over the home girls, Queens. Some really brilliant rugby. Could easily be contender of try of the tournament. Some great, great, great rugby there. Game girls 10, Queens nil. Two minutes to go. As we see it again, she slipped there in the mud. Black, black. Great offload, great awareness. No, 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 Rudini, when you. Just look side, at the determination on her face. She puts it over the line. Stop time. Great Ball. try there from the game girls. It's a one way. It's the Easter Blackrock Festival. Yeah. Hosted by Kenya Harlequins and brought to you live by Akili Kids. Time is on. Under 15s, tense tournament. Game girls kicking off. A little too much now for the Queens girls to get back. It's okay. It just only gets worse. She steps out into touch. Did you touch it to touch? It's still the ball, huh? It was already in touch. So, so black ball, eh? free pass over here. Back ten, back ten. Queens back. Easy, easy, easy. So, up a Queens token it in. And then in my little line. Token it in. So, up a. Okay, now. Okay, away, tackle. Tackle. Just outside the 22, the game girls trying to. Breach his queen's line. Away, Referee's not happy with what he saw. No, 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 no. You're affected. Play. You're offside. Offside. It's a penalty over here. Black. Black. Queen's girl's not happy. It's over here. Back. Discipline creeping in. Offended. Play. Back 10 meters away. Play. Big run there from Okay, the now roll away. Girls. Roll away now. Leave it. Leave it, Queen's. It's gone. Just Use it now. Getting over about 10 meters away from that Queen's line. Get the quick ball out. Lovely hands there. Oh, brilliant dummy. Show. Sure. And she's under the post again. Wow. These chem ladies are putting on a real show for us here. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Okay, conversion. Game conversion 15. Conver conversion attempt. Black. Win zero. Over here. Oh. Can the game girls get the extras? Oh, she gets the two points. Game is done. To cap what has been a brilliant performance. Some really, really good rugby. Just look at this. Textbook stuff. Inside the ball. Well done. Well done to the game Inside ladies. The ball. Just too good. Too good on the day for the Queen's ladies. Winning it 17-0. It's the Easter Blackrock Festival. RFUA grounds hosted by Kenya Harlequins. This is definitely the home of rugby. Can you like me?
Rugby Game Girls 17, Queens Queens 0. some highlights that's the man himself with the camera there that's Dennis Gem that's his team does a lot of development work with these boys and girls kudos to you and you can see the results I mean it's just textbook brilliant rugby everything you want to see well done Easter Blackrock Kenya Harlequins Thank you to Akili Kids for making this happen. My name is Charles Cardovillis. I'll be back in a bit as I leave you with this action. the RFUA grounds starting to get to the tail end the hot stuff and wherever you're watching us from Karibu I'm Bele, I'm a new Mati. You can anywhere along the line. Yeah. You have 10 seconds. Yeah. Time on. Time you run. Advantage knock on. Advantage over. Sealed. 
Mark is there. Mark is there. Mark is there. Thank you. Ten. Back. Vantage high from two block. Penalty advantage over. Aya, five in here. Five in. Mark. Mark. Are you doing your? Wait for the part. Thank you. No, it's okay. It's going back. It's okay. Advantage for offside. Your advantage for offside. Get on. Release. Release block. Get on, get on, get on, get on. I release him, roll away. Hold, hold blue, hold blue, hold blue. Hold blue. Advantage over. Backwards plate. Release him, blue. There you go. Ten, ten on the half, on the half. It's okay, play online in the line. Hi. We've gone above the line of the shoulder. Hi. Get ten. Mark is there whenever you're ready. Advantage over! Just fast turn forward. Fast turn forward. The knock on. Jump. Three to go. Three to go. Yeah. Pena. 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 
Yeah. I'm moving, moving the mark to the side. Alright, guys. Don't push until the ball is in. Sasa, eight seconds in. Coach! Bind! Bind, bind, please. Bind again. Set! Right. Let's, let's set it. Bind, Sasa. Let's set it. Ah, yeah. Come on! Bye! Set! Tackle! No, no, block, block! Tackle and throw the line. It's all okay, Tackle. Tackle and then. Tackle and roll the way. Alright, Mark is here at 10. This is the AR. Come here, come here. Give, show them 10, show them 10. Up. Get off, get off, get off. Whoever's getting off, get off. Play. Get on, get on, block, block, block. Vantage. You offside, don't say that you offside. Line. 17 offside. I release block. Get on, winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to miss. 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 I'm
Chukwe a ball. A ball. Simon. Uh, behind the kicker. Hey, when you're ready. Tackle. Boys. No con, scrum, belly side. Scrum, belly side. Thank you, Papa. Don't shuffle. Set. Hold, hold, balling. Hold, hold. No con. Scrum. Ball this side. Papa. Coach.
मजा तो क्या अच्छा कोई अब्बा अच्छा कब When you're ready, behind the kicker. Hey, it's okay. Hapa. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Because you're going to ready. Now come, let's go, belly side. Hapa. Come, belly side. Hey, I'm not going to go in the line. I'm Coach! Bind! Set! Wait, Roger, wait. Wait outside, wait outside. Not ten. Not Apochini. Tokol. Just like it. Ball this side. Did you need to From there, the upper. Ball this side. Last play. No. Mark the quiet line. Bind. Set. Hold. Ball in. What upside? Roger. Hi, 
There was a tackle. Can you to talk here? We're going to head tackle, Pali. Upper? Here. When you're ready. Sorry. Watcha, 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 use it. this with my son Christy Karavilis. Karibu. Ball, ball. <coughs> ball. Thank you very much. Appreciate the wonderful welcome. Been treating some very good rugby today. Been to see the youth come out, showcase their skills. Not to mention we have the under 15 Kenya coach Biko Adema amongst us in the stands. So it's brilliant for some of these young boys to try and get the opportunity to play for the national team. Yeah, Christy, I mean, you've been here, you've been here since morning. Um, what, 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 what has sort of impressed you most? What has, what has caught your eye? I mean, you are, you are also part of this uh, under 15 age group. What has caught your eye out here? Um, for me, it's I feel like there's a very big difference in skill between some of the teams. For example, the Dubai Exiles look to be one of the best teams here, playing very good rugby. We're above their age grade, but 
For me, that's what's impressed me the most. Back on the pitch, it's uh, <laughs> Game Rugby. Yes, more runs. Game five. Unplayable scrum, Papa. Yes, more runs. Nil. Three minutes on the clock. I rush in. I'm not doing rules. That's scrum. Game Rugby. Crouch. So the game girls play on their own. Exhibiting some great skill. Comfortable. Set. Hold it. And the, 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 the boys, we call the male counterparts, uh, trying to replicate what they do. Some great rugby there. Out to the winger, in, out, shows the ball. And he's under. Great try there from Gem Rugby. Taking their lead to 10. EPS most runs. Nil. As we go through the highlights there of that try. Because as you see, I mean just use of the ball. Winger executing the space out there. Game Rugby 12, EPS Morans 0. I mean, you've watched, you've mentioned um, uh, Dubai Exiles. Who else do you think, um, who are your favourites for this tournament? Went back! Went back! Um, obviously, I've mentioned the Dubai Exiles. As well as that, we can't take away the credit from the Ugandan team who have come here and put in a great show for us today. Unbeaten so far, so are the Dubai XLs. So for me, those are the two teams that I believe could go all the way and win this. Game Rugby. Scrum down. Inside the EPS for runs 22. Let's see what they can do with this. They've been totally dominant. They've got a big blind side. Oh, the free says play on. They go to the open. Great hands again. Great show. Great tackle. Cover the fence there. The free has the arm out. Hi, tackle. Referee's not happy with the C penalty. Game rugby there. There's a knock on. EPS Morans decided to go by the boot. Game rugby on the counter attack. Great skill. Great offload. Takes him on. Defenders come in there. Takes two men to bring him down. They retain the ball. Can, um, referee not happy. Penalty, wow. hands in the run. Play has been called a long way back. Very interesting. Can rugby now have the advantage on the five? EPS more runs under a lot of pressure. Try time. Try time to game rugby. They go over for their third try. That's game rugby 17. With the kick to come, EPS Moran 0. 7.30 on the clock. Judging by what I've watched, you have been quite surprised by the quality of rugby, by game rugby. Um, I feel like they're now 
slowly creeping up into that conversation of who could win this tournament. However, one thing I've noticed with these teams is that they enjoy the contact too much. There's always space out wide, which they don't seem to utilize. But with game rugby, I've seen their game plan is off the scrum, get the ball wide, and they score the tries that way. Uh, interesting, you, you mentioned that yeah, they've, 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 they've got into minimal contact, getting the ball out, one, two, three passes, and their winger is having a field there on the on the outside, and that's exactly what you're looking to utilize space. So kick off there by Game Rugby. EPS Morans retain that ball, free playing advantage for the knock on. Great offload there, big fend. Great run there. Boca. Yes, rugby get the penalty. No one seems to be interested. Big hit on the small boy. They decide to go to the boot. The door's just not opening for EPS Morans. Gem Rugby returned the favour. We've got a man down. Knock on. Time off. Um, referee stops play. With the, with the Easter Blackrock Under 15 tournament hosted by Kenya Harlequins, we're at the RFUA grounds. Thank you to. Akili Kids for giving us this opportunity to broadcast and showcase these young girls and boys around the world. We can watch under 15 rugby on TV in Kenya. It's a great milestone. Kudos, Kenya Harlequins and Akili Kids. EPS Moran 0, rugby game 17. As we wait for the medical staff to Stop. deal with the injured player. Okay, and now let's do. Christy, um, we know you're playing in an exhibition game later on today. What are, what are you looking forward to? Um, for me, I'm just looking forward to having a run out on the pitch, preparing myself before the season starts, playing with players I've never played with before, and. Yeah, just proving myself to the coaches and to the other players amongst amongst us here. Sounds good. Looking forward to that. Hope the weather holds up. So that these young boys can um, showcase some good rugby. Coincidentally, I'm generally excited that Christy We'll be taking the field with um, some of my good mates. Uh, they were my teammates and uh, my players in Victor Sudi and um, Namco Simiu. Their sons will also be on the pitch, all of them running together. I mean, it's um, it's a beautiful thing to, to save up. Diamond. And um, as we watch these young men grow, they take the same field that we all took in our earlier years. Back to the pitch. Game rugby 17, EPS Moran 0. Time's pretty much up. Game rugby pretty much have this. Let's see if they can add on to it. Gets the ball out. Pressure in the defense. Great pick up there with one hand. Fending. Just runs out of space. EPS Morans with the ball. If they need, oh, <laughs> taken off them there by the game rugby. Great pick up oh. there, great show. Lovely dummy getting into the 22 there. Yeah. Referee calls them back again. Tackle was high. 
game rugby decide to go for the Point. points, I just guess to just close this off. They've, been, they've just been too strong for EPS Morans, Christy. Yeah, I feel like EPS Morans, after game rugby scored the first try, they lost all their motivation to play the game. And from then on, it was a done deal. Game rugby have really played some very fluid rugby, shown EPS Morans a bit of class. And they come away with a victory here. 17 points to zero. Yep, referee calls the time. 17-0 to Gem Rugby. Beautiful rugby there played by Gem Rugby. Again, like I mentioned earlier, when the ladies girls were playing, it's a program that's run by Dennis Gem, who's been doing quite 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 some quality work with uh, rugby development. And the results speak for themselves. You can see that his teams are actually just um, a, a notch above the rest. Well, it, at the Easter Black Rock Festival, ten aside, under 15s, hosted by Kenya Harlequins. Ukembe Rugby playing Gilgil Vumbi. That's our next matchup. This should be exciting. Brought to you by Akili Kids. Live and direct. Before the game starts, Charlie, we know that you were a part of this Black Rock Easter Festival before. So, how was your experience in this tournament? Uh, I mean, um, I played um, I played this quite a few times. Um, my first time playing in this tournament was actually um, I was in St. Mary's, and, and um, yeah, I played, played this tournament uh, St. Mary's. We came from school and um, we were actually good enough to, to play against the clubs. And, um, you know, we, we, lost to, we lost to Kenya Harlequins too in the, in the semi-finals. But I was proud to say that we beat Impala uh, during the group stages. So, some, some great memories, played in the mud. But that was then. Let's focus on um, the stars of today. Bukembe Rugby playing Gilgil Vumbi. It's kickoff time. Gilgil Vumbi in the white. Bukembe Rugby in the black and red kits. We're trying to make use of the width. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it going leave to hand. Leave it. So I know the uh, referee is not happy with that. Penalizes Mukembe. Gilgil Vumbi will have the penalty just, at, just about at the 10 yard. Let's see what they decide to do with this. Looks like they're going down for touch so they can have the the half penalty if it doesn't go out Touch. it does go out so what happens with the rules at this level and this tournament no line outs Ten. safety um, if instead of a line out they we go we go out for a penalty just just for people to understand um, what's going on and why there's no line outs in um, in this tournament Scrum. Gilgil Vumbi in the strike zone. Scrum to them. Let's see what they can that one. cook up here. Crap. Bind. Set. Is it? Scrum there by Gilgil Vumbi trying to get the ball out wide. Get it out to their winger. Big step. Beats one. Second third defender come in. Gilgil retain the ball. Ball doesn't go to hand. Good hands though. Pressure there from Kembe. The Gilgil man is still able to break a few tackles. Gilgil with the ball. 
Keeps it going out. Nice display of hands. Takes on the defender. Taco! Going nowhere. Leave him, leave him. Big hit. Red. Not really, but. Use it. Stops a man in his tracks there. Gil Gil Bumbi still with the ball. One step, two step. Taco! Gets stopped in his tracks. Still got the ball Bumbi. going. Floating that ball out wide. Decides not to give it to the man in the inside. Retain possession. Good carry. No clear release. No clear release. The free stops play. Not releasing the tackle on the floor. Maki. Yeah. Maki. want to go for the three points. Interesting. Interesting call there, Christian. Yeah, I mean, Gilgil Vumbi, I feel like they're getting a bit lucky here with sloppy passes. They go for the points and it's unsuccessful. Bukemba Rugby come out with the ball. I mean, that, that that's a very interesting decision to make, you know, especially in the short version leave him, of the game. Leave him, leave him, it's not leave the kind him, of stuff you him. do unless... Count I mean, good. it's only four minutes on the clock. Well, yeah. I don't understand leave why it, they, it, leave it. Why they well, went yeah. that direction, especially with the conditions. Advantage. Gil Vumbi once again sloppy with their passes. Scrum. Mukembe rugby, Gil Gil Vumbi, nil nil. Four and a half gone. Crouch. Both sides not really getting into their rhythm Bind. and can't breach each other's defense. Set. Hold the push wide, hold it, hold it. What's been a cagey affair. Let's see what Bukembe have to offer now. They win the ball, Ten gets the ball, shows the dummy, breaks. Vantage to the head. No advantage, high tackle to the head. Very, very sort of disjointed game. No real rhythm from both sides. Those Mukembe now have a penalty and just get over the halfway line, I think, for the first time this game. Ball. Trying to break that Gilgil -Gil defense. They attack the blind side. Big run. They've got man over. Catches the ball. Touch. And just runs out of grass. The defender pushes him out. It's, um, it's been it's been that sort of game. It's that sort of game. I mean, four minutes to go. Both teams just seem to be devoid of ideas on how to get over that white white line and score a try. As you can see, what I was talking about. Constant contact. I feel like these teams are not appreciating the amount of space they have on the field and are more focused on running into a man than running into space, which is not really getting them anywhere. Six minutes on the clock, still nil nil, with not much threat offered by neither teams. Mm, line up, yeah. Gilgil getting deep into Bukembe's half. Ten. Just outside the 22. Ten. Get away, Taka. Don't leave, leave it, leave it, leave Bukembe's it, leave it. holding strong. Gilgil moves the ball out wide. Past is a good hand. Knock on by White. Fix it up. Scrum. Says Red. Knock on. Really scrappy affair. I mean, they just didn't seem like they had some any plan or anything there. Fuck that. 
Back up, guys. Hold, push. Don't push before the ball puts back in. So, serve it again. Serve it. Crouch. Come down. Smack on the halfway line. Hold it. Hold it there. Okay, rugby ball. Hold it, line. Balls out. Ref plays with. Break on the break. Goes, breaks one tackle, two tackles, three tackles, and is in. Brilliant individual try there from Bukembe Rugby. Gil Gil Vumbi caught napping on the blind side. Great run there from the winger from Bukembe. It's 5 0 with the extras to come. Conversion is unsuccessful. Bukamba Rugby 5, Gilgim Vumbi 0. As we see that break again. Great. Defense didn't seem really interested. Bukamba take the lead. One minute to go. Just need to hold on. And this will be a victory that they will surely, surely enjoy. And I guess you see what happens when you use a space. Though both teams were crowded on the left side of the pitch. Bukembe Rugby. The winger picked the ball, took it on the blind side. Appreciated the grass that was the left for him. And went on ahead to take the lead for his team. Get away, 21. Vumbi. With the ball now. It's all or nothing for them now. With 20 seconds on the clock. With the ball to their winger. Big step. Step comes back in. Tackle! Leave him! 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 Oh, it's just broken down for Gil Gil. And all the pressure from Bukepe. And they score a try. It's 10 0. And it's curtains for Gil Gil. Bukembe Rugby 10, Gilgil Vumbi nil. Referee says we've had enough. Great show there by Bukembe. The resilience and defense paid out at the end. They come out victorious 10 nil at the Easter Blackrock Festival. RFU Grounds, Kenya Harlequins hosting it. Brought to you live and direct by Akili Kids. Our next matchup Nakuru Girls versus the Little Sport Girls. Yeah, back to the girls' action. So little sport earlier on couldn't um, keep up the pace with hidden talent. Let's see what they have to offer against Makuru girls. As you can see, we're at the home of Kenya Harlequins. Wait, wait, wait. RFUA grounds, Nairobi. Aye. The weather has held up. And the action kicks off. Backward! I'm watching, watching, watching. Nakuru girls with the ball. Attacking deep from their 22. Watching. 
Little sports defense holding up. Great tackle there. Great counter right, okay. rack. Playing the ball on the ground by Blue. Excellent pressure there in defense. Nakuru the girls. Little sport. Turn defense into attack. They scored a great try. Conversion. Nakuru girls can whine all day. But the refs Conversion. not having any of it. Little Sport 5, Nakuru Girls 0. Yeah, yeah. Conversion. Unsuccessful. Little Sport 5, Nakuru Girls 0. I mean, Little Sports after the last game they had, they'll be looking for a victory to bounce back, get their team a bit of motivation. You want to wait the start of the game. One and a half minutes played. Little Sport 5, Nakuru goes nil. Kickoff goes deep. Girls looking to exit, not a very successful one. Head of kicker. Little sport, come out on top of that. Get awarded the penalty. Girl, they have another chance to increase their increase their lead. Oh, brilliant pass there. Lovely tackle coming through. You have to go round in gate. Round in round in gate. Round in ten again, girl, girls. Ten again. Little sports. I take off advance. again. Lovely hands there. And they're through. And it's another try by Nakuru Girls. Oh, sorry, Little Sports. I'm getting carried away here. I mean, it's a lack of discipline by Nakuru Girls that cost them this. Three penalties. They own 22 and it's come to haunt them. Lose sport 10, the crew goes nil. and a half gone. Ten. Little sports with the kickoff. Nakuru advantage! Hey! Properly there. This is no fun. Playing advantage. Nakuru. Big hit coming in there from Little Sports. Still penalty advantage for the high Nakuru tackle. Able to retain the ball. Moving it through the hands. Another big hit coming in from Little Sports. Really putting their bodies on the line. They really want this one. Leading 10-0. Backwards. Pass is just not going to hand for Nakuru. It's just not Luck. working for them. Little sports recover. I'm the penalty. Steal no the ball. High tackle. Three stops it there. Nakuru are off. Take the quick one. They're okay now. Not saying that. You okay? Putting it through the hands. Decides to go to straight the boot. No, oh, very good. Kick. No, no, it was okay. Straight out. They're okay. They're okay. They're okay. Little sports taking on the ball. Trying to reach that Nakuru defense again. Guys, <laughs> listen, I've not said anything. So we're having a scrum for the knock on. You got the ball clean and you dropped it for us. Knock on. Scrum. Takes matters into his own hands. 
Middle Sport get the scrum. So I've clearly mill voice. Deep into Nakuru's 22. Let's mm -hmm. see what they have on offer here. Come closer, girls. Kujeni karibu, kujeni karibu. Mario! Coach! Bine! I feel like this brilliant character shown by Little Sport. After the game they had in the last game, left, left. to come out here and start a very strong, left, right. Sasa, left, left. put in a very strong performance, Bind. constantly attacking. The crew girls crumbling under the pressure, poor discipline, making silly mistakes. And now Little Sport have the opportunity here, get some more points on the board. What a break there by Little Sports. Get the ball through Advantage. the hands, good hands. Oh! Just couldn't keep it going there. Unfortunate knock on. Otherwise, she was Scrum! Scrum! Nakuru will get the put in. Four minutes to go. I That's ended what that Nakuru can do and try and get back into this game. They need to score twice if they have any chance of winning this one. So hold five until the ball comes out. Nakuru with the put in. Okay. Bind! Just, just outside the attack. Bind, girl. Set! You still have to I hold, hold, hold. the whole length of the pitch. Let's yeah. get anything out of this. Big shove there from Little Sports. No, it's okay. Still, still has still it. Managed to retain the ball. Big hit coming in there. Free has his hand out. Nakuru still retained the ball. Little Sport have really come out to play. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. No, Much no, no. better than it. their last performance. Really putting their bodies on the line. Nakuru find no way out, so they decide to go to the boot. Putting pressure. Backward. Little Sport retained the ball. No, no charcoal, play. No charcoal. No, no, leave. Out. Ah, Takes it on the blind side, looking for the offload, doesn't work out. First receiver leave, takes leave, the ball leave, in. Leave. Nakuru defenders lying all over the ball. Little spot, keep going. Ball goes through the hands, oh! Just misses that, they recover the ball, beats the first defender, this is second, third, lovely pop there, goes through the gap, gives a lovely offload there too, and she's in for the try line, oh no, she put it in at the five yard, was she out of breath or she just didn't know where she was, wow, 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 players down, got an injury, but that, that was amazing, Christy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the patience, the play, the offloads, the passing, it was, it was wonderful. Just very unlucky, I think she scored in the wrong line, so she had already made it. I think she was too excited. It's unfortunate, but it was a brilliant passage of rugby from Little Sport Girls. Nakuru now on the ball, up to kick. Watch her foot. Oh, Little Sport, the girl, she was stepping out when she picked up the ball. No. Yeah, then it's a free throw, scratch. Scratch na pass, that's all. Nakuru goes. The off and away. Good hit. Cool girls attempt to play through the hands. It's a good step. Beat one defender. But she's caught in her tracks. She's taken back. She keeps fighting. Oh, that is. Loose put now with the ball. Advantage over for the no call. Have advantage. 
It's a brilliant offload and she's off to the races. Oh, she's gone. Try time. Little sport girls. It's been a brilliant show of this. It's been a brilliant show of display by these girls. After struggling the last game, it played wonderfully. Oh, it looks like she's hurt herself in the process of scoring that try. But it's been brilliant rugby here by Little Sport Girls. It's been a joy to watch. Conversion unsuccessful. Little Sport Girls 15. Nakuru Girls nil. The ref calls it. And that was brilliant rugby by Little Sport Girls. As you can see, the offload was given to her. Just put her head down and she was gone. Didn't think about any of the defenders. She just ran. Scored a try for the team. And they've come out victorious. What a way to bounce back by Little Sport Girls. It's very good rugby. Oh, and you can see there, the ball just caught up under her stomach. Maybe it was the problem. Next up, we have Gilgil Vumbi Girls versus Rugby Game Girls. We just witnessed the Gilgil Vumbi Boys go up against the Game Rugby Boys. And let's see if the Gilgil Vumbi Girls can get some revenge for their male counterparts were defeated when they last met. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Break there by the game girls. Great strides. They get her. Defense really working really hard to get back there. Gilgil Vumbi can counter attack now. Game girls defense holding strong. A very good pass. It's wayward. Puts her teammate under pressure. Gilgil Vumbi be looking to exit. Nice chip. Not deep enough. The game girls get the ball. Gil Gil Vumbi now under pressure. Kick wasn't very good. Hands there. Nice use of the ball. Oh, pass just doesn't go to hand. Big fend. Great offload. Game girls keeping that ball alive. Breaking the first tackle, second tackle, and she's under the posts. Great try there from the Game Girls, number seven, donning the bandana. Lovely try there. Smile on her face tells it all. That's brilliant rugby there by the Game Girls. Offload after offload. And the conversion is good as well. It's good to see one or two conversions going in. They've been horrific all day. As we go through that try again, at the end there are lovely strides. Really working through that. Putting that ball down. Excellent try. Play when you're ready. No whistles. Gil Gil Fumbi, seven. 
Game Girls Zero. Girl, girl, for me, get the game underway. That's a brilliant counter rock there by Gil Kilvumbi. Support body weight. Let's go back. Stay, stay, stay. Stay on side. Tackle. Ball retention there by Gil Gil Vumbi. Big run again there. Play zone. Great awareness of the rules. You just like how they let the ball go and get up. You know what they're doing. They have a presence of mind to do that. Excellent work. Excellent work from the young ladies. The game girls get the penalty. Put the ball to boot. Fresher now. What a break. She sidesteps the two defenders. Great offload. Big run there from Tuckle. Big Hit from the Gilgil. Gilgil really taking the game to Gem. The Gem girls have hardly had the ball. Really been under pressure. Great hands and passing the ball there from the from the Gilgil girls. Tuckle. Switch. Taking the ball into contact and retaining it. Nice pick and drive. Contest there. Hands down. Support body weight. Hi. Going down the road. Advantage over. Really, really playing some really good rugby. Holding ball on the ground. Red 14. Wait, wait, wait. It's an over by game. Some brilliant counter rocking there. Wapi, wapi, wapi. Fortunately, it looks like. One of the Gil Gil Vumbi girls has gone down with a knock. Hopefully it's not too serious. It's the Easter Black Rock Festival, under 15s boys and girls, hosted by Kenya Harlequins. Will you continue the play? Or will we do a substitution? Akili Kids providing us this feed. Great job, four and a half on the clock. Great day out here. After what was um, a messy morning to say the least, with all the rains. In commentary, Charles Cardovillis and young blood Christy Cardovillis. Christy, I know we've talked about the men. What's your take on um, on the girls' um, tournament, the quality of rugby, and how do you see this going? Um, the quality of rugby here is a bit, um, for lack of a better word, inconsistent yeah. because we saw the little sport girls have a very terrible game, a first very terrible first game, and then came out and played brilliant, brilliant rugby in the second game. But one team that has really played outstanding rugby this whole time is this Gilgul Fumbi girls. They have played some very good rugby. Sorry? And here they are on the ball again, attacking. Brilliant offload there. Tackle. You're talking about the Gilgul Fumbi. Really playing and using that ball really well. They've just got the, got the game girls at sixes and sevens. It's trouble out here, out wide. Desperate Advantage defense there from the game girls, but they can't make it. Great offload. And another. And another. Some brilliant rugby out here. They've got numbers out, out on the left. If they use this ball well. Lovely break there. 
She's definitely gonna make it. What a try. What a try there from the Gilgil girls. Brilliant rugby. Brilliant from those young ladies. Along these axes. I mean, that's, that's amazing rugby there. The offloads, it's just very yeah, fluid. Yeah, yeah. Once the winger got the ball, she put her head down. She knew where, straight where she was headed. Didn't think about stepping back in or anything. She just went straight. I mean, all I can say for this country is that the future is looking very bright. Gilgil Girls 12. Now 14. Gilgil Girls 14. Gem Girls 0. Six and a half on the clock. It's Easter Blackrock. As we go through this, look at those hands. Beautiful. As you say, head down. She only one had one thing on her mind. And that was a try line. Brilliant, brilliant try. Play it when you're ready. Kick off there by... One side. Oh, yeah. It's one side. Gil Gil girls. Play on, play on. If the game girls want anything out of this game, they need to score right now. Otherwise, it'll be too little too late. And it seems that way. Because the Gil Gil girls have the ball again. Taking control. Pressure was just too much there. Playing advantage. And they make a rare mistake. The game girls have the ball. No advantage gained. First the game girls finally in possession. Come back to the first knock on. Just feel like they've been defending the whole game. But now is their chance to try and salvage something from this game. If they can get a try from this scrum, they may have a chance to score at least one more try later on in the game. Okay. There's the game girls with the put in. Just at the ten, 10 meter mark. Hold it. On their side of the pitch. Shut. Hold it. Hold it, girls. Get the ball out. Tries to defend. Defender holds her ground. Big step Tuck there. Wendy, 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 Trying to execute Stay. the quick ball. She has a look on the blind side. It's not working. I don't know why they would do that. They kick the ball possession away. The Gilgil girls come back at them. Just good use of the ball. Big break there down the wing. One defender to go. Stopped in her tracks. Great offload. <laughs> That's brilliant defense by the game girls. Tracking all the way back, making the tackle and getting the turnover. But you just think that kicking the possession away right there. They have just ended their chances of salvaging anything from this game. Yeah, as you say, a little bit too late with pretty much 45 seconds on the clock. They need to score twice to to win this one. I just don't think they have it in them. The uh, Gilgil girls have been really, really good, especially in defense. Uh, and sorry, in attack, they've really used the ball well and opened up this uh, game defense. Let's see if um, the game girls can get a consolation. Offload there. Stay. Big hit coming in from the Gilgil girls. Turnover. Good play big, turnover. big defense. Turnover again, both sides. Really? Going hammer and tongs at it. Ball you. comes out on the game side. Get the ball. Stay. They go to the boot again. Wrong decision for me. I mean, it looks like the game girls Good. know that this game is over and done with. Have no intent of trying to score any points. But here come Gilgil, they want more. Brilliant offload. Another one. Oh, this is beautiful rugby. Unfortunately, that last pass a bit sloppy. Ball is up. Gilgil are not done. It's another offload. Keep up the pressure. Big hit. 
quick pick, offload. Looking to utilize the space out wide on the wing. Oh, it's just brilliant. What some might call champagne rugby from the Gil Gil girls. It's amazing. Champagne from Gilgil, if there's anything like that. Great try there to seal off this game. It's the Gilgil girls. 17, game girls 0. We've been, been entertained to some really, really good rugby from those Gilgil girls. Still got the kick to go. Kick doesn't make it, but it doesn't matter. It was a brilliant show from the Gilgil -Gil girls. So Gilgil -Gil girl win that one. 17 against Game Girls. Zero. We'll be taking a break. Easter Blackrock, Tenerside, Under 15th Festival from the RFUA grounds. Achille Kids, see you in about 20 minutes. You can rise up, you can rise up, you want to cheer your guys as you get into the next segment. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I can't hear you, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Team you can't, are you ready for this? Team you can't, are you ready for this? Right, so whenever you are kindly rise up, because you want to do something amazing, I go by the name Uncle Manchai, Uncle Good Vibes. Let's do this. Oh, sir. Let's do this. 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 Let's Clubs, you don't want to miss out on the exciting family fun zone, courtesy of Achilles Kids TV. Grab your advance tickets now on MOOC.com to secure your spot at the Black Rock Easter Festival. Testing.
Stay on side. Stay on side. Wamesema unyi amesema wacheze tu Play on. Play on. You know for me it's all about Ball open. Stay on side. Leave it, leave it. Tackle, leave it. Stay on side. Stay on side. Ball open. Ball open. Ball open. 
qui est Stay down, stay down. Give for Rams 12 for fashion to come. Oh, Sabiak, eh? Nah, ni kama meni ni sure. Kacih ni? Yeah. See. Yeah. Put your shoes. That's the current game of going now. Eh, eh. Next game coming eh. now. I'm in gear. Who you? I'm in the college. Eh. Versus Ryan Gear eh. Boys. Good both team. Kuna mo nyame mo ingili liya. Oh, ah, sa mi pati yata. Asa ingi, asa ingi. Eh, so mtoa inje. Any so far? Time on play on. Stay on side. Stay on side. Here. The corporation to come is a picture of the CPS runs for the Nairobi Select. We're currently ongoing. The match of Y with the scores of 19, 3 tries, not 2 converted tries, and 1 unsuccessful. Currently leading Nairobi Select by 3 tries. The next game coming now. Don't waste time, Kiko. Don't waste time. All the same, we'd like to recognize the partners of this particular tournament. Leave it, leave it, off it, leave it. I call leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Stay inside. Yeah. Ten, be ten.
Yeah, it's okay. Come and see it. Where's the boat? Offside. Hey, watch out, Hello. Leave it. Offside. Ball open. Stay on side. Use it. Faster, now it's time. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Stay outside. Go inside. Ball open. Off it. Ten. B10. B10. Play on. Go inside. Yeah. Oh, Don't waste time, don't waste time.
Bitten, bitten, bitten. Come on. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Ball open. Leave it, leave it. Stay outside, stay outside. The next game coming up is a play trophy between Dominion College and Rugby Game Boys. Four more teams are in the tunnel. We're ready to go. Dominion College versus Rugby Game Boys. Special mention to Akili Kids, the Rugby Entertainment and their partnership. The first free to air children and family 24 hour heat station available on several TV stations and YouTube platform. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> And the key to providing solutions and entertainment for all the parents of people.
With that, we are, we are at the tail end of the Easter Black Rock Festival. You can see the party mood. Young ladies there enjoying themselves. As we gear up, it's finals time. We have the plate trophy. Coming up in a few. It's been a great day of rugby. Under 15 rugby. A lot of new stars will be born from this tournament. The skill. Weather side has been really, really good. Kudos. Kenya Harlequins and Akili Kids for putting this together. Play trophy Namliongo College versus Prince Rugby. Our good friends from Uganda, thank you for gracing the tournament. The weather this afternoon has been kind to us. Well, the skies again are threatening to open up as we wait this play trophy. Wait for Prince Rugby to jump onto the pitch. It's been a great day of rugby. Teams from all over the country. Got teams from Uganda. And of course, our guests, the Dubai Exiles, are here. And they'll be playing in the semi final later on. But for now, it's a play trophy Namlyongo College versus Prince Rugby. some consolation. Before we get into the big, the big semis. 
a friendly match again. Referee gets the game underway. Prince Rugby there with a the kickoff. And Namilongo gets penalized immediately. The player's ahead of the kicker. Tries to take the quick quick tap. It does. Breaks through. Catches the defense snapping. And he's over. But I think the AR. The, Flag went up before then. So no try there. I'm going to take the quick tap. Trying to get out of their 22. Quick hands. Trying to utilize the space. Trying to work his way, get his team into an offensive position. Just getting out of the 22, but big defense there from Prince Rugby. Nyamlongo still holding the ball. Big fence there coming from the big boy, but he stopped in his tracks. The Ugandans have some big units amongst them. They've been they've been the talk of the tournament to be honest <laughs> when I've been out there yeah um, lots admiring their their size and physique as we go on there dangerous play players down and referee will have to stop that A knock to the head there young player from Prince and just as I was commending their the size of these units look at that Some big boys, big boys coming out of Uganda. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the plate trophy. And the young man gets up. Doesn't look too serious. Hope he can carry on later on. Penalty to Nam Leongo. Just by the half yard. The big boy again. Taking that boy. Takes one, two, three, four. They just can't stop him. Finally goes down to ground. Ball goes through the hands. Prince defense coming up strong. Again, the Ugandans getting to the Prince 22. Ref Sam is out. Penalty. The Ugandans want to get done with it. Trying to break into that Prince defense. Working hard, keeping that ball through the hands. Eight meters out. Again, the Prince defense holding strong. 
driving the man back. Great defense, but ref says he's not happy with what he saw there. Again, the quick tap from the Ugandans. Getting to the five yard. Great offload. Again, the Prince boys really working hard in defense, holding up those Ugandans. Ugandans need to get down, but referee says they were not 10. We go again. Play trophy, Namliango nil, Prince nil. Great drive there, getting over that line. And the referee gives the try. Try time, Namliongo. Namliongo five, Prince zero. Five gone on the clock, the extras to come. Kick is good. Makes it 7 0. And that's the big drive. Going through, does everything correct, keeps the ball nice and tight. And gets over the whitewash. Leongo get the chance uh, to kick off just the way it works in tens scorer gets to take the kick off great reception there by Prince breaks the defender one two three big hit they need to get this ball out wide good pressure there from the Ugandans stopping Prince from getting behind the gain line Great counter rack. They keep the ball, decide to go to the boot. The referee says there was hands in that rack. And Namlyongo will get a chance to attack again. And here they go. They mean business. Keeps going. They've got the prince defense snapping. And he's over the line again. Prince just don't seem to have any answers to this Ugandan onslaught. And it's Namiangi, Namiang. That's the break. The Prince players were caught there in sixes and sevens. They didn't know what was going on. And he gets over the try line. Great try. Namiliongo 14. Prince, zero. Six and a half on the clock. Big hit there. Namliongo loses the ball in contact. Showing what they can do in attack, they can also do in defense. seem to just be sucking the life out of Prince who have no response to them here at all the Ugandans have the put in Decide to attack the blind side. The 
the winger and the number nine were not on the same page there. And that's where Namlonga have lost the ball and Prince get a chance to attack. If they don't do anything now, it'll be very, very difficult for them to get back as they make inroads into the 22. Good dummy there. Kicks the ball. Totally unnecessary, according to me. And just gives away possession. Prince get a second chance. But just, just made the wrong decision there. They had they had Namliong on the back foot. We've lost that. And that's it. R referee calls time. Namliongo are your plate trophy champions. Beating Prince 14 points to nil. Great display, clinical rugby there from Namliongo. Just never gave Prince a sniff there and they win it 14-0. They can go back home, happy campers. Next up, another plate trophy game King Rugby versus Gilgil Vumbi. Both teams have played well today, but just rather unfortunate not to make the semis. Get one more chance to redeem themselves in this um, encounter. Center referee is doing the pre-game protocols before we kick off. Mm. Kings Rugby, we get the game kicked off. Gilgil Vumbi there trying to breach this line. Strong defense there from the Kings Rugby boys. Just outside the 22. Kings Rugby opting. Just run the ball deep. From their half. Not making much ground here. 
Now looking to spread the ball. And yes, they decide to go to the boot. Don't gain much ground there. So Kings Rugby will get a chance to attack just outside the 22. Great run there. Beats one, beats two, beats three, and he gets over the whitewash. Great try there. From the young man. Donning a good blonde haircut. It's Kings Rugby 5. Gilgil Vumbi. Zero. Just have we we have a look at that again. Takla goes in high, takes advantage of that and just dives over. Good skill there. Conversion was wide. Kings Rugby will kick off again. Let's see if Gilgil Vumbi have something up their locker. Is there Kings Rugby take it quickly? Ball goes to ground, mistake. Ground is still slippery, it's been heavy downpour in, in Nairobi last night and this morning. So conditions not 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 really the best. For these young players to showcase their skills. But all in all, we've seen a lot of very good rugby. And let's see what good rugby Gilgil have here as they try to get out of their half. Referee playing advantage. Lovely getting the ball there to the wing. A lovely step beating the defender there. But he holds his ground and actually makes up a tackle. Gilgil still keep the ball. Pass doesn't go to hand. Boot on the ground. Kings have a chance now to counter attack and punish Gilgil. Oh. Referee plays advantage. Sloppy play between two teams. Gilgil not really making any yardage here, running across pretty much, just sort of shifting the ball and not getting over the gain line and making it really easy for Kings Rugby. We're putting a lot of pressure on them. And that's where the knock on comes in. Ref was playing advantage. So Kings Rugby get the scrum just as we see it here knock came in there ball went backwards but we missed the earlier infringement halfway through the game remember it's 10 minutes straight up Gilgil have four and a half minutes to try and turn this game around, but they lose the ball there. And Kings want to get stuff rolling. And they keep that ball alive, good hands there. Beats one, beats two, beats three. And he's not going to be stopped and he gets over the line.
Kings go in for another try. Second of the game. It's Kings 10. Gilgil 0. Conversion was good. Kings take the lead, 12 nil. What can Gilgil do to get back into this game? They need to score really quickly if they want any chance of winning this encounter. Passes down the line. Again, the King's defense is really, really strong, putting a lot of pressure and forcing, forcing mistakes out of Gilgil. They just can't cope. This game looks dead and buried. Kings go again. Not a very clever decision there. One runs straight to touch. Kings rugby there get penalized. They'll need to hurry up. Again, going to the boot. Players just not taking their time. I've just been watching throughout the tournament, really not taking their time with those kicks and not gaining the kind of ground that they need. A bit more concentration. He's made all, all of sort of 10 yards with that kick and doesn't really puts the team under pressure. Let's see what they have to do now. They try and get out of their own half. And there the mistake. The Kings. Kings defense has just been phenomenal. Their press. They've really been up in their faces. And Gilgil have just not been able to cope with it. Wait, we have a player down. Nothing too serious. Referee says we can carry on. The Kings maybe have one more trick up their sleeve just to finish this game and put a real marker. They've been totally dominant offensively and defensively and here they go again on the offense. Good pass there. Great run through. Slices through that back line and gets over the try line easy does it too easy they've enjoyed themselves and they tell Gilgil -Gil, thanks for coming and see you later it's done and dusted
And that's it. End of that play trophy semis. Kings Rugby just had too much today for Gilgil.
It's semi-final time. Easter Black Rock Festival. Rift Valley. Taking rugby. Game boys in the main cup semi-final. Both teams will be looking here. to fight and get a chance to play in the final. So it's Rift Valley playing the rugby game. Kick off there, both sides. Getting into it with Rift Valley. Again, choosing boot to ball. Just to get into rugby games um, half. And let's see what rugby game have off their sleeves. They seem to be a very organized team very calculated in everything they were doing all we all day and here they go just out of their tent too trying to put this Rift Valley defense line under pressure big kick going down deep into the Valley's 22 Rift Valley boys return the favor another massive kick much better just getting over the halfway line I was talking earlier about the kicking and concentration and taking times on those kicks we've just seen two brilliant kicks commentators curse I guess game rugby with the ball again keeping the same strict script Giving it to the big boys, hitting it up direct. And the boot again. I don't know if that was the right decision. Ball goes deep. And dead. Referee pulls them back. This time the kick wasn't that good. And Rift Valley will get a chance to attack from the halfway line. Both teams just sort of testing each other here. KG nerves. I guess it's um it's finals time. It tends to happen. Rift Valley with the put in. Just shifting the ball. Trying to breach this defense. Great run there by the winger. Gets pulled down. Just outside the 22. Makes a good 10 meters. Rift Valley go to the boot again. Put it up high. Testing this back. Forcing the mistake. And Rift Valley win that battle. Knock on there by Gem. They have a ch chance now to, to attack from the strike zone just outside. Gem Rugby is 22. The Easter Blackrock under 15 semi-final time. This is the first of the two semis. 
Rift Valley playing game rugby. Game rugby on the defensive here. Let's see what Rift Valley have up their sleeve. Just outside the 22. Attacking there, nowhere to go. <laughs> Had a look. Ball, referee says ball went backwards. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> it's comical. <laughs> Game rugby with the ball now. Oh, showed it, took the gap, and he's slicing through the defense. Wow, is he gonna make it all the way through? Try time! Great run there from Game Rugby out of nothing. The Rift Valley boys just went to sleep. They assumed that the referee was going to make the call. And the extras there from the tiny man. Game rugby seven. Riff Vanil nil. Just look at him power through there. The fend. Thanks for coming, son. Riff Valley's players' efforts came to naught. Game Rugby with the restart. Lovely show there, but gets caught up. Loses the ball in contact. Game Rugby is forcing those mistakes out of Rift Valley. Valley find themselves in the back foot having to defend this game rugby with their tails up let's see what they are cooking Game rugby with the put in. Just there on the 22. Attacking the line. Lovely pace there, injection there from the young man. And he gets over the whitewash. Game rugby taking the game to Rivali who have no answer. Game rugby 12. Rift Valley nil. Kick to come. Conversion wide. As we say this, comes in there. Textbook staff. Gets the ball at pace. Hits the line. No answer from those defenders. Lovely rugby there from Gem. Twelve nil. About two minutes to go. Gem rugby with a restart. Rivali will need to do something really quickly if they want to get anything out of this game, but it's looking highly unlikely. They hadn't have they haven't had even a sniff of the ball up until now. Big defense there by Game Rugby. Oh great break there. With Bally Boys on the forage. Referee pulls out the arm. Advantage to Rivali. They keep the ball going. Don't kick. Oh, he does. Kicking away possession. Oh. Almost turning out to be a very good decision. He still got the ball. Will he make it? 
Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Oh, no. Everything you don't want to see on the rugby pitch. He didn't score it. He butchered it. Not good at all. I guess we Valley look dead and buried now. Game Rugby, we just want to manage this. And we can safely say they've booked themselves a place in the final. Goes to the boot, big boot. Takes the ball. Good awareness of the rules. Good wrap around there. <laughs> Tongue out. Strolling all the way. Go, son. Make sure you get there. <laughs> Big defense, but he does. Try time. Great try to cap a good performance by Game Rugby. Really good performance there. That's my little man <laughs> with the extras. 19 nil. The man at the center says we've had enough. Game rugby 19. Rift Valley zero. So we have our first finalists in Gib Rugby. They'll be waiting to see they will face in the final between Bukembe, Kembe Rugby, and Dubai Exiles. It's a clash of the foreigners, our guests from Uganda and our guests from Dubai. We'll be battling out to see who meets Gem Rugby in the final. It's the Easter Black Rock Festival, RFUA Grounds, hosted by Kenya Harlequins. This production made possible by Akili Kids. through the pre-game rituals. Should be interesting. Dubai Exiles had a game against um, Kenya Harlequins but uh, parts on Wednesday, game of 15s, which Queens won. The Exiles now will be looking to redeem some silver. Hopefully, get into the final and maybe take some silverware back home. Semi final two. Kembe Rugby from Uganda. And the Exiles from Dubai. Playing for a chance to play in the final against Geb Rugby.
kick off 10 minutes separates one of these teams from a place in the final. Boys from Dubai Exiles trying to get out of their 22. Taking the game up front to the Ugandans. Very intentional and deliberate about what they want to do. Playing tight rugby. Referee says, with his hands in the ruck. Exiles up to go for the line. Get the ball just over the halfway line. And let's see what they can cook up from here. Again, up to their big boys. Beats the first tackle. Being held up there. Needs to go down. Otherwise, they'll lose this ball. Goes down. Referee calls it. The exile still with the ball. Getting some continuity going. The Ugandans being aggressive at the breakdown. They decide to go for the boot. The so Ugandans under pressure. Wow, he wants to run it from, from his try box. He's brave. Does very, very well there. Kick wasn't as good as it should be. He can be under pressure now. Turnover. And they kick the ball downfield. We'll have a big chase here. Let's see what he can do. Great tackle there from the player. Great tackle again coming in. Big defense from the Bukembe boys. But the exiles do well to get out of trouble. Again, big hit taken back. And turnover. We have a man down. One of the exiles not not looking too strong there. It's scrummy. Gives everyone some time to catch some breath. It's been three minutes of non-stop action. Still nil-nil. Second semi-final here at the Easter Blackrock. At the RFUA grounds in Nairobi, home of Kenya Harlequins. He's been very animated all week with his team. Great character on the touchline. Big hit there coming in from the Bukembe player. Try to get up. Second player came in in defense. Good energy. Exiles did, did well to get back in defense. Crowd has turned up today. And Everyone can get a breather. 
Doesn't look like he'll be able to carry on. Tough. Hope he can carry on if if the team goes through. Hope he'll be available for the next game. But back on the pitch. Mukembe with the put in. Just outside the Exiles 22. Big scrum there from the Exiles. But Mukembe still keep the ball. Take it up. Try to breach his defense. Beats the first tackle. Beats the second one. Gets the ball out. Offloads. Beats the first tackle. Beats the second one. Gets tackled into touch. Just ran out of grass there. The exiles were able to cover that side of the pitch. You can just tell how heavy the rains were with that puddle out there. As the exiles try and get, get out of their half. Big run from the big man. Falls into the tackle. Exiles decide to ex exit. Big kick downfield. Great kick. Just outside. Bukembe's 10. And they take it quickly and off. The referee was not happy with that. Was calling them back. Got a little excited there and didn't have the ball on the mark. So they'll get to go again. Decide to keep the ball in the forwards. Ball comes out. They go out wide. They've got an overlap. Great ball back in. Great pace. They recycle the ball really well and keep it there. Again, taking it forward. Great offload. Oh, just couldn't keep it in the hand. And the exiles turn it over. And they have a chance now to attack. Referee's arm is out. Hands in the rock there. Nothing to separate these two teams. Six minutes gone on the clock. Dubai Exiles, zero. Mukembe Rugby from Uganda, zero. Both teams fighting for a place in the final against Gem Rugby. Big scrum there from the Exiles. Gets his left boot on it. Big chase. Mistake there from Bukembe Rugby fullback. Under pressure from the defense. So the exiles have another chance to attack. Big scrum again. Lots of pressure there. Taking it, trying to get over the gain line. Good hit. Ball comes over. Great defense. Lovely fetching there from the Dukembe player. Dukembe player. And they take it quickly. And they attack this exiles line. Trying to breach this defense for the first time. Big run there from the winger. Looking to go on the outside, but there's no space. Gets covered pretty well. They keep the ball moving. Lovely. They've got the overlap on the left. Great stuff there from Bukembe. Lovely run. He's going to get over. 
Finally, try time. Great try, great try. Kept the ball moving, and the exiles had nothing in defense. Asking too much from them, and they couldn't keep up. It's Bukembe five. Exiles nil, with the extras to come. Conversion good. There yeah, we just get the last moments of that try. Big fan, desperate defense there. Just couldn't keep it. He was just too strong from our visitors from the Middle East. And the East Africans are over. Bukembe 7. Dubai Exiles, nil. Deep kick, they go deep. Big kick. Under pressure, whoa! I really don't know what um, the Exiles player was complaining about there. But great tactic, great pressure. Like we say, a kick is only as good as its chaser, and the chasing was really good there. Bukembe have a chance now to seal off this game. They score here, and it's curtains for Dubai Exiles. Kember with the feed. Big scrum from the exile, but Kember still win it. Big run. And he's over. Easy enough. Safe to say. Kembe have sealed their place in the final. The conversion is good. Kembe 19. Dubai nil. Our man at the center still says we have some time to play. Big kick again, downfield. Great catch for the Dubai boy. Trying to keep this ball alive. But it's a little, a little too late. Exiles um, opting to go downfield again. Be nothing but a consolation try if they do score now. Bukembe 12. Dubai Exiles 0. Great defense again from Bukembe. They've done it all 10 minutes. Boys have really worked hard at the breakdown. Wow, AR, AR has gotten involved and come and reverse the referee's call. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, exiles, the less said the better. Exiles with the ball. Kick doesn't find touch. 
Big Kembe have a chance to counter attack. Running deep from their 22. What a break. He slices through the defense. Goes out wide. This is the winger. Big friend back in. Great handling there from the boys. Great offload. Oh, they were enjoying themselves out there. Exiles were all over the place there in defense. Scrum. To exiles. Kembe with the attack again. Just looking to rub salt into the wounds of the exiles with another try. The ball down the line, big hit. Aggressive, they've been really, really aggressive. Kick from the exiles, doesn't get much grass. Definitely going to get punished here by Bukembe. Big fan breaks the tackles. And that just sums up the game. The Ugandans have just been too good. Too good for the exiles. And that takes the score. To Bukembe. 17. Dubai exiles. Zero. As we see that try again, just to confirm Bukembe's place in the final, where they take on Gem Rugby in the Easter Black Rock Festival. It will be Kenya versus Uganda in the big one. But for this one, Bukembe Rugby 19, Dubai Exiles 0. to you wherever you're watching us from we are very delighted that you could join us today we've been here at RFUA uh, along Gong Road from 8 a.m. till around 4 p.m. we are still here enjoying the fun matches that is here courtesy of the Black Rock Easter Rugby Festival where we've been having international teams local teams and it has been amazing so we've been having 12 boys teams and uh, four girls teams who have been on the pitch and it rained so it has been muddy and all fun and as you can see behind there the excitement is high people are coming from all over so make sure you catch us live on Akili Kids TV and also on our YouTube page Akili Kids TV so let's have fun and if you're around you can come and join us and Kucha Tijibambi
Time around, time around, red, blue. Advantage. Advantage is over. Okay, tackle now. Move, move. Hey, move, move, move. Okay, move. Tackle, tackle, leave, leave, leave. Ah, no, no, leave it. Okay. Then water. Then water. Tackle. play on. Tackle, leave. Move back, hey, the right side. Move back. Advantage outside. Number 10, 10, offside. Move 10, move 10, bad. 10, 10. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Move 10, in the line, in the line. Line, line, move back. Okay, once are ready. Okay, short, leave him, tackle, leave, leave. Come, come, come. Five meters, five meters. Where the Ten. Hey, move back, blue, move back, blue, move back. Okay, close. Fines. Sit. Hold it. Don't push. Don't push blue. Ball not in the not in the tunnel. We have it again. Black ball. Okay, crouch, bind, sit, hold it guys, don't push, okay, nine. Advantage, offside, advantage. Okay, advantage is over. Okay, leave it, leave it. Move, move. Move. Time off, time off.
It was crime. It was a crime. It was a false alarm. It was in doubt. It was in doubt. Yeah, it was a crime. Yeah. Their ball. Yeah. Ball? Yeah, the, the guy was in doubt, but the air the, the thought was out. So they had the ball. <laughs> hey, move back. Five meters. Five meters. Blue. Blue. Five meters. Five meters. A crouch. Bind. Sit. Hold it. Don't move. Okay, nine. Offside, offside. Bandage offside. Game here. Uganda Cobbs versus Kenya. Forward pass. Offside. The visitors ahead, 7 0. Offside number 9. Hey, move 10 blue. 10 meters, 10 meters. My mark. Hey, blue, stay. Not move. Stay. Stay. Okay, play. Gundam's clearing their lines there. See if the Kenyans can breach this defense. Tackle. They use. Stay forward pass. Stay forward pass. Forward pass there by the. Blue ball. That's cram. Blue ball. Kenyan boys. Stay forward pass. Okay, Scrum down to Uganda. Okay, close. Bang. Sick. Hold it. Hold it. Big boot down the field from the Ugandans. Trying to put the Kenyans under pressure. Kenyans get back. Big defense, but he breaks the tackle. Okay, stay. 19, 19, 19, don't move. Big kick 19. again, returning it with play. interest. Let's see what they have now. Oh, big fan from the big boy. Play on. Oh. Advantage, no con. Advantage, no con. Advantage, no keeping the ball alive. <sighs> Playing the phases. Okay, move back. Okay, use. Again, they opt to go to the boot. Big kick down. But this time, Kenyans get there. Okay, Setting to run. Oh, wow. Taking him on all the way from his 22. Oh, great tackle. Hey, hey, Just stopped on the Kenyan 22. Again, another big boot. It's almost a game of chess here with the boot between the Kenyans and the Ugandans. Big chase there from Kenya. Big hit. Hey. Release fast, release fast. Release fast the tackle. Last play, last play. There's last play, last play. Last play, last play. Last play. Last play. Last play. Not releasing in that tackle. If you go Still the Ugandans you leading 7-0. Kick straight out. Really yeah, tight affair here. He does try and kick out. Silent out. Gundam's making all of 10 meters with that kick. Silent out. Yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah, you kick straight out. You kick straight out. So you're going to have the line out. You kick straight out, so you are going to have the line out. Yeah. Okay, move the line out. The line out. See what the Ugandans have up your sleeve. Again, we'll take the tap. Retaining the ball there. Again, they decide to go to the boot. Not a very good kick. It skews off his foot. Pass up. One minute. 
after one minute. After one minute. After one minute. One minute break, then you come back for this. Another seven minutes. One minute. It's half time. Uganda Cobbs leading Kenyan side Blackrock 7 0. Easter Blackrock Festival under 15. It's final times exhibition game going on here before we get into the big one. We have Game Rugby playing Bukembe in the under 15s final. Second half just about to get underway. It's Kenya Blackrock with the kickoff. Big chase there. Hey, blue, blue. Kenyans come out with the ball, referee says. It's Kenya ball. Take the quick one. Gundams one out back 10. The arm is out. If he gets him back. It's going to have a word, okay. slow down. Wait, 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 don't move. Move 10. Okay, you can play. It's great to see young men, lots of energy. Busting through there. Yeah. Big hit from the Ugandans. Off it. Stay up, stay again, up. Again, the referee penalizes them again. Move 10, block. Yeah, advantage, no 10, no 10. Okay, let's take the quick one. It's a knock on. Move 10, 10. Again. Wait, wait, wait. Gandans. In the line, blue. In the line. In the line. Not disciplined. Yeah. Under pressure there. Okay. On their five yard. Oh, the Kenyans Bad make a mistake there. there. Not very clever. Good break there. Selling out. He said, boy. Over here, hey, come here. Move back, move back, blue, move back, move back. See what the Kenyans do. They need to take advantage of the field possession and the possession they have. Not being very clever. Hey, leave it blue. Hey, use. Trying to breach this Ugandan line. Trying to get the phases going. Don't have the numbers in the breakdown. Play on, play on. Uganda steal the ball. Okay, move back, move, move back. Kenya still have the ball. Kick across there. And the winger get it. Touch. Yeah, puts the flag up and says he's gone into touch. Blue ball. Yeah, come here. Move back, move back. 
penalty. Kenyans let the Ugandan off, off the hook again. Take the ball up. And they decide to go to the boot again. Big kick down deep. Oh, Kenyans pick the ball. Good recovery. Just over the halfway line, the Kenyans with the ball again. They're doing all the attacking. Again, the boot comes into play. been Kenya all this half but they're just not able to convert all this dominance into points but time is off time is off oh, come, come. stay down stay down he's coming to check on you Still about six minutes or so on the clock. There's an injury to one of the Ugandan players. Hey, Captain, it's been sad. Oh, so the, the, rep the replacement has come. Who's the replacement? Yeah, hey, child, my son. Okay. Over here, hey. Oh, 22, 22, 22. Time back on. 22. Yeah, 22, yeah. Must drop it. Everything's fine. Can get play underway again. And that's making inroads into the Kenyan defense. Big carries there from the boys. Advantage high tackle. Advantage high tackle. Advantage, Kenyans can't stop them. The ref has his arm out. Advantage to Uganda. Hey, six, leave it, six, leave it. Advantage, Uganda still have the ball. Keeping that possession well. The forward pass. pass. Doesn't go too well. Looks like a forward Five. pass. Referee does not see it. It's a forward pass. Oh, he finally Five. does. Yeah. Feels playing advantage, so Uganda still have a chance with it. They take it quickly. The Kenyans are napping. Oh, mistake there by the Ugandans. And the Kenyans get a chance now to attack this Ugandan defense line that's been very, very solid. Let's see what the Kenyans can come up with. Bind. Sit. Hold it. Can I? Big scrum there from the Ugandans, putting a lot of pressure on the Kenyan number nine. But he manages to get that ball out. First knock on from blue. First knock on from blue. That's cram. Yeah, knock on there by the Ugandans. Can you get another chance to attack? Yes, cram. First knock on which was blue, then black. Cram. A little over four minutes to go in this encounter. Good. Wait for my call. Bind. Sit. Hold it. K9. Leon. Hey, hey, leave him. Hey. 
Kenyans get out of jail there. Assistant referee says it's Kenya ball. It's their ball, it's their ball. Hey, Blue, it's your ball, it's your ball. You move, move, move back. Oh, that swaps again, it's Uganda ball. Okay, advantage of 10. Move 10. Hey. Wait, wait. Move 10, move 10. 10. Move back, back, back. 10. Yes, Play on. Okay, black, leave it. Black, black, leave, 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 leave. Okay, last play, guys. Ugandans maintain the ball there. Tackle, tackle, tackle. <laughs> Building up the phases, keeping it tight. Move fast. He says no. Wait, wait, baby. Can't have those hands in there. Back ten, back ten, Another penalty back against ten. Kenya. Okay, last play, guys. Last play. You want to kick straight out, it will, it will go into the alignment. So that is either you scratch you See what the Ugandans out. decide to do here. We'll leave it to the big boy, taking it up. Move, move. And kick it out. Okay, black, they have a, a, a card dance. You line up, they do the haka. Hey, black, black. You line up, they do the haka. Yeah, yeah. Hey, black, black. Just line up here, here, in this 10. This 10 meter line. Yeah, yeah. This line. And that's it. The Uganda Cubs beat the Black Rock team from Kenya 7 0. This was the dress rehearsal, I guess, for the big one Game Rugby versus Bukembe Rugby from Uganda. Let's see if Game Rugby can avenge one and get one back for Kenya. As the Cobbs do the version. Good to see this at this age. The challenge has been accepted. The Kenyans have moved forward. It's good to see. We know we'll be seeing these boys taking on each other. Year after year after year. Well done, Kenya. Well done, Uganda. Great show at under 15 level.
Hallo, sehr haftig. Sehr haftig. Nambliongo College versus Kings Rugby. It's your plate final. Easter Black Rock Festival. Akili Kids, Kenya Harlequins, RFUA Grounds, Nairobi, Kenya. The three big ones to come. Plate final. Nambliongo College versus Kings Rugby. Kicks us off in what has been a great day of rugby, watching these young boys and girls express themselves out there despite the nasty conditions. They've put on a very, very good show. And this is the cream rising to the top. It's final times. Namliongo College versus Kings Rugby in your plate final. Scrum put in by Kings Rugby. Trying to get into the Ugandans 22. Nice break there by the winger. Beats the first defender. Man comes across and tackles him. He's able to retain the ball. Makes it at the base. Beats the first defender. Good ball retention there by Kings. Referee says. Roll away. They take it quickly. Kings are here to play. Piece of first defender again. Good tackle, ball and all. Stops the Kings attacker in his tracks. Still keep the ball. Good pass out wide. Good rugby by Kings. Just retaining that ball. Tackle going to that contact very well. Keeps the ball. And unfortunately loses it. Namliongo have a chance to get out of their half and relieve some pressure. Depends what they do. Oh, they fluff it. Referee said the ball went backwards and they attack. And he's broken through, slides through the center there, flings the ball out wide. Done very, very well, well to get into the opposition's half. The referee stops him there. And they take it quickly. And they carry on. Backwards. Big hit coming in there. Ball goes to deck. Tackle, the Ugandans retrieve it. Get on side. Use it. Picks it at the base. Ten, Big ten, boy ten, going out. through there. Luck. Hard to Use stop. It. Makes five meters. Again, keeping it tight. Very direct Not rugby. On the ball. Not on the ball from the Ugandans. 
again. Same, it's all Route 1 stuff. Trying to use their, their size. Got some big units. Yeah. Use it. Finally, they get the ball to boot. Tackle out, tackle out, thank you. Turnover by Kings there. Need some pressure from the defense. Let's see what they can do in attack. Looks to go for the kick. Dummies. <laughs> Changed his mind. Maybe got the ball out. Good offload there. Goes out wide. They've got an overlap. Oh, ball goes to deck. Picks it up. And the winger is off. The referee calls him in. Longer with the feed. Crouch! Bound! Set! Hold the push block. Hold it. Hold it. Nine, hold it down. Nine, hold it down. A oh, big run there. Bound. Great overload. Oh, just couldn't. Ball couldn't stick to hand. Referee says play on. It went back. Side. Use it. The Ugandans are 10 out. Tackle, Again, tackle, hitting it up close. Black. Being consistent with their direct rugby. Oh, drops the ball there. Just a lack of concentration. Kings Rugby will have a chance to get out of their own half. Bind. Absorbed a lot of pressure. Hold it. Set. Hold it green. Hold it. Hardly Hold had it. any ball to work with. Come up. I've not made a call. And just sticking to the script. I bet Bind. you they'll go to the boot. It's been happening all, all day. Referee gets Kings out of jail. Put the boot down. Touch. We'll have the ball Ten. just by the halfway, and they take the quick one. The attack. We've got a man over. If they're going to use it, he doesn't need him. He breaks through. Takes two to stop him. Ball was loose. Leave it, the Ugandans have turned it over. Leave it, leave it. Passes down. Knock on my green. Uh, very, very disjointed game. It's all over the place. Error strewn. Mark is here. Both teams can barely time, time. string three or four phases. Guys, time, time. Come in. Come in. Crouch! Bind! Set! Green, hold it. Ball it. Nice to you, A little bit of what we call handbags. <laughs> Kings with the ball, attacking, just getting over the halfway. Great break there from the center. Thank you. Pulls in his man. Kings have the Ugandans on the back foot now. And right through, he slices through them. 
Ugandans were caught napping there. The Kings are 10 meters out. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Being offside. Get the ball out. Big tackle going nowhere, not getting over the gain line. Offside. High tackle. Line. Ugandans Try get line. penalized. Let's see what the Kings come up with in the strike zone. Just shifting the ball, not making real. Oh, that was too easy. No pressure at all there from the Ugandans. And the Kings get over the line. Finally, the deadlock is broken. It's Kings, Kings 5. Namiongo from Uganda. Ten. Apologies. Zero. Getting excited in the commentary box. Ten. Ten. The ten. The ten. The ten. King's kicker trying to add the extras. See what he comes up with. Shot of Wofu. Not a very good kick, but let's focus on the try. Really good work there by the Kings players. And they get over and score. Kings with the kickoff. Um, Yongo will need to see what they can do to get back into this game. Find themselves trailing after pretty much dominating most of the first half. Just not being able to execute. And just what we're talking about. Get the phases. And then they make the mistake. And they allow Kings back into the game. And Kings win that plate final. 5-0. You can see the joy on their faces. But it's great to see. Great to see the Ugandans here. Bring an age grade side. Competing at this level. Really entertained us. And obviously looking forward to having them back next year at the Easter Blackrock. So your plate final champions, it's Kings Rugby, winning 5 0. Up next, 
Easter Blackrock girls final. We have hidden talents in the plate final. Taking on the Gilgil Vombi Girls. Attack on complete release. Play on, play on, play on. Release now. Back on side. Hidden talent trying to make inroads into this Gilgil defense. Touch. Scramble defense Touch. there by the Gilgil Vumbi yeah. team. Yellow. Back ten, back ten. It's forcing Yellow. hidden talent player play into touch. Ready? And now Gilgil have the chance to show what they can do in attack. Come on. Not doing too well there, running upright. Got the, the body. body position all Let's wrong. Down. Down. Got held up. Turnover Come ball. Relax it, lady. Relax it. Okay. I need one in. Okay. Bounce! Five! Set! Okay. Hidden talent with the put in. Wait, advantage of five. Good scramble there by the scrum half. Referee says no. Nah. Oh, great run. Okay, really great line there by the hidden talent it. player. Done really well. You must commend the Gilgil Vumbi side for stopping that. Is it? Not really making any headway. Passes are a bit lateral. Back ten, back ten, back ten, back ten. No one really straightening it up. Pass it. Okay. Advantage knock on. Again. It's a knock on. Let's have a scram down. Error there scram by down. the Vumbi team. Lots of pressure scam. coming in from the hidden talent defense. Scram. Okay, let's have it. Go! Scram to hidden talent. Five meters, you are not part of it. Five meters. Back, back five meters. Five. Set. You get the put in, retain the ball. Decide to run it from. She slices through the defense. She's working through. They're not going to catch her. She works all the way under the sticks. Brilliant try. Conversion good there. 
to add the extras. Just watch kick out, see, and I hide of kicker. Now I take it. Okay, I wait. Gil Gil Vumbi on the attack again. Oh, just not knocked on. on. Let's have us calm down. Yeah, let's boy. Difficult pass there to try and get it, especially in these conditions. Nearly got there. Hawkeye referee saw that one. Gives hidden talent a chance to attack now. Crouch! Fine! Set! It's a long stretch, 60 meters or so to the other try line. But we've seen some really, really good rugby today. And anything's possible. And she makes the break. Fantastic break there from Hidden Talent. She just... Play on, play on, play on. Just got exposed there and got left alone. Vumbi take the quick one. They're on the attack again. Oh, they're really going there. And the AR stop sign her tracks. Oh, what's going on? There's a bit of confusion here. Everyone stopped. Red back on your side, 10 meters away. Where is the ball? I think the assumption was that the player stepped out of play. Yellow ball. Get back on your side. Yeah, there goes the flag. Scratch it and pass it. It's the AR stops in her tracks. Use it for 10. Hidden talent to attack. Decide to go on the boot. Again, kicking position away doesn't really help. Especially this Gilgil. You give the ball to this Gilgil Vumbi side. They're they're really dangerous with the ball, just like we're seeing now. Just at the Back, 10 meter play on, mark. Play on, play on, play on. Ball goes backwards. Nice strong run. Gaining all of 10 meters, but held up there. Ball is out. The ball's ripped yeah, away. Hidden talent come up, come away with the ball. And again they go to the boot. Advantage Just knock on advantage. Wrong decisions advantage according to me. Advantage. And giving the ball to this Vumbi side, as I said. Danger advantage with this ball. Referee. Just trying Clear to force ground. that last pass and the referee Clear stops ground. it. Is it relax it, ladies? Relax it, huh? Relax. Okay, let's have it now. Five meters if you are not part of it. Five. Five, please. Get back five. Crouch! Hidden five! Hidden talent with the ball now. Yes, ball in, ball in. Don't push, don't push. They really need to get up the other side of the field. <laughs> if they're going to have a chance of scoring and put this boom beside under pressure. Again, they go to the boot. Tacon. Please! No! It's just that this Vumbi side have not taken advantage of all these kicks. Kicks have not really been good. And here we go. Into the 22 come Vumbi. Leave it, leave it. You are not roll away. Tacon did not roll away. No, no. Penalty to Vumbi. Coming nice and short. Okay, good. Defender holds her ground. But the attacker still gets two, three meters on that gain line. And here come Vumbi again. Play on, play on. Trying to make inroads. Here we go. And she's through. Sells a dummy. Oh! Pass just goes behind her teammates. 
Back 10 meters, back 10 meters, red. Yeah, the novel lap there screaming. And they don't take their chance. And hidden talent again. Again, the lack of concentration in that kick, and they give the ball away to Vumbi again. Who are putting them under more pressure. They've got the overlap now. The friend comes in. Back. Offload again. Ball doesn't go to hand. Fumbi again. Continue to attack. And this should be it. Big break there. Oh, the inside pass once again. Another mistake. Mistake after mistake. Fumbi should have put this game to bed by now. They might just, just come to regret all these chances they've missed. That's if hidden talent can get into the game right now. Because they barely had a sniff also. Now on a last play. It's on a last play. Back, play on, play on. It's a last play. Hidden talent now. Trying to get out of their own 22. Defense is really strong, but she does get a breakaway. Big run there, great tackle. Getting up there. Couldn't tell and secure the ball. Should be a turnover there. Referee says no, let it go. This is the last chance that Hidden Talent have. Big break there. On the halfway line. Advantage knock on. Advantage. Today on the Black Rock Easter Festival and we've been having a great time and remember that we are so grateful that you could watch us from the beginning till now when you tulipatikana katikati. Thank you for tuning in. Let's meet next time and remember to follow our YouTube pages at Akili Kids TV, our Facebook page Akili Kids TV and also on our Instagram, TikTok, Akili Kids TV and remember Akili Kids, Kenya's number one and only free to air TV station for children and families. My name has been Laura Nell. Uh -uh. My name is Laura Nell.
versus Bukembe Rugby. It's Kenya versus Uganda. Two best sides over the day well in, well in, finally get to square it out and what better treat could we have asked for it's Kenya versus Uganda rugby game versus Bukembe rugby it's the Easter Black Rock no festival there's no photo it's still the same 10 minutes one way yeah. 10 minutes one way the oh. kickoff is this way Akuna chapicha. Akuna chapicha. Akuna chapicha. I love you. Hey, can we buy the coin? How many minutes? Ten minutes one way. Yeah. Give me the ball. As both teams go through their pre-game rituals, instructions from the captains, coaches. get ready here and anticipate a thrilling final I'm Charles Cotovillas in commentary and back with me is uh, Christy Cotovillas Christy just before this final kicks off you were on the pitch there Tell us about the conditions and what we expect from this sort of game. Um, I mean, you were out there. What is it like? Um, as you can see, it's very muddy and very wet. Quite slippery as you run around the beach. I've noticed that with a lot of these, these teams, it's more of a kicking game. So, hopefully that we'll see more ball in hand than kicking. And as you can see on the far left side of your screen, the pitches are full of mud. It's very slippery. The conditions are not the best. But these teams have to make do with what's there for them. Yeah, you heard it there. And let's just hope these boys put on a show for us. The two best teams over the course of today. It's Bukembe Rugby from Uganda. And rugby game. Who will be crowned the Easter Black Rock 2024 champions? And it's kickoff time. We can we don't get back to the best of starts. No, that ball not going ten. Giving Game Rugby a chance now to, to attack. Small man with a big heart. Directing his troops there. It's Game Rugby getting that ball moving, flowing to the wing. Seeing how to stretch this Ugandan defense. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Use. Keep that ball going. Again, down to boot. Like what's been to the norm. Great pick up there. No, 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 it's driven it. back in the leave tackle it back, it. by the Ugandan player. Your tackle had control. Referee says you need to get your tackle hands out of there. Control. Game rugby get the penalty. Opting to go down the line. Eat some, some extra yards. Let's see what they can do with this attack. They've been very clinical all day. Been very wise about what they do with the ball. Give them 10, give them 10. But these Ugandans have also been very tough in their defense. Let's see what comes out now. Big hit there. Driving the player back. Referee was not happy with that. He's got his arm out. Game rugby still with the ball. Push it out wide. Ugandan defense not having any of it. 
Still have the ball. Use it. You'll look to go left. Chain direction. He has other thoughts. Comes back right. Ugandan defense holding strong. Again to the boot. And it can be under pressure. Referee is playing advantage, so calls them back. Penalty here for the cheap tackle. Fifteen meters out. Jim Rugby will know that they really need to make this work. And wow, in typical finals rugby, they've gone for the posts. It's rare to say this. 22 drop out. Kick goes wide. 22 drop out. Not the right option in my opinion, but I mean if it went in, it is the right option, but I just think they should have kept on piling on the pressure on the Ugandans. And try to get that try, try and get the five points. That's done now. Bikembe now have a chance. No, 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 no. I'll let him restart again. And drop to get out of their half. Referee telling them you need to 22 drop that one. Big boot goes downfield. Beats the first man. Game rugby go to the boot again. Inside. Pressure there. Oh, gets out of trouble. Great run by the Uganda boy. He keeps going, looking for his support. There's nothing coming, keeps going. Finally, they get there. He's keeping. He's going, he's going. And the defense recovers. No, leave it, Just leave outside it, the 22. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Game rugby under pressure. On the line. Get on, get really on. slow ball, really slow ball. Take it on the short side. Keeps going. Look like they've run out, he run out of ideas here. Release, release, block, release, block. No playing advantage. He had it. Play. Game rugby turned it over. It's a boot and line out there. Doesn't make Black much ball. ground. Black Gives ball. them a bit of breathing space. Black ball. Ten. Give them 10 for me. Yeah. Give them 10 for me. Yeah, yeah for me. Is that It's a line of three up pass. There's no, it's not a penalty or nothing. Scratch pass. No, no, no. Scratch pass. <laughs> we can be on the attack now. Ken goes to the boot. Not the right decision, in Ball my opinion. Blue! Again, Ball blue! Advantage. gives Game Rugby a chance to kick it out, but they don't get any grass. It's just straight down the field. Can we get the penalty? Take the quick cap. He's running through. Beats the first defender. Beats the second one. Shot! Big fan. Nearly gets there. Play. He's okay. Oh, Game Rugby, good turnover, but again, awful kick. Just down the middle. Giving Bukembe another chance, another shot at it. They've got numbers out right. He takes it on. Oh, couldn't get the pass out. And forces the mistake. Release tackle. Play carries on. Game Rangbi have turned it over. You beat. Advantage over. A wise option, he kicks it, but again, he just kicks it downfield. Again, giving the chance to Kemba to attack, attacking down the field, finds the extra man. Oh, again, the pass doesn't go to hand, and they knock on five meters out. Really frustrating. Really frustrating there for the Ugandans. 
Game Rugby putting everything on the line. Six and a half minutes gone here. It's the Black Rock final. Game rugby with a put in. Big drive by the Ugandans against the head. He's got numbers to his right. Gets the pass out. Oh, again doesn't go to hand. He recovers. Try time. Finally. All that pressure has paid off. All that pressure has paid off. Bukembe 5, Game Rugby 0. Field attempt there with the extras. As we go through the try again, the pass just didn't go to hand, but he recovered well. Ball went backwards, says the referee. Beats the defender and gets over the white line. Ready when you are. Ugandans are two minutes away from a gold medal here. It's be their kickoff. Ten. Let's see what the Kenyan boys have in their locker. Big run there. Gets hit and taken out into play. Taken out of play. Hi. Referee's not happy with that tackle. Penalty to game rugby. Went high. Hi. Show them Ken. Show them. Go down the line. Just over the 10 yard, 10 meter line there. They re really need to come up with something quick if they want to win this one. Takes the tap. Gives it to his forwards, big boys. Ugandans go low, make the tackle. Referee's arms out. Penalty. Another chance now for Game Rugby. You can see the fans out there urging them on. Wading through the water. Nothing can stop them. Nothing coming in between this and the gold medal. Game rugby pretty much what would be the last play. Let's see what they can come up with. Oh, pass goes behind. Referee says no knock on. Play on. They bring that ball out wide. Comes in through. The Ugandan defense holding strong. Referee's arm is out again. Advantage game rugby. Everyone just seemed to get to stand still there. Playing advantage for the high tackle. Gets that ball out. Needs to shift it out wide. Doesn't has a look. Takes it in. Gets driven back. Referee says no advantage. Pulls them back. Quick tap. Oh, not too smart there. But he kept, referee says play on. There was no knock on. Big drive. Gets tackled. Two meters out. Big boy comes in. Big hits. They've got numbers out left. The referee again calls them in. Not happy with the tackle. Big man. 
Dan takes it up and scores. Brilliant. Putting his body on the line and gets over there. Had the presence of mind to reach out. Even the wet weather. He's able to keep that ball. Big kick here for the young man. This for gold. Misses it. Referee calls for time. As we go through the try again, big hit, big drive. Extends his arm over, big strong arm. And gets the try. So it's a quick changeover. As the teams are tied. It's definitely, definitely living up to its billing. through the action, big fans, good skills, good show of the ball, tackle coming in, there was a try by Kembe that put them in the lead, and this was the equalizing one from Gem Rugby. She takes us to sudden death. Winner takes all. You're receiving black. Receiving. Ball. Ball, ball. Ball. Both teams here putting on a good show. Cap up what has been a great, great tournament. But someone, Black ready. one team, must go home with the gold medal. Is it going to be Bukembe from Uganda or Game Rugby? It's sudden death. knock on there just lack of concentration there from the Bukeme scrummy nice team under pressure now what can game rugby do by game rugby it was will. a lot of pressure coming from the ugandans the referee is not happy he'll say we'll take it again conditions out there not helping Coach. game rugby with the put in Good break there from the scrummy. Good offload. Tries to get the fend on with the tackler. Holding strong. Game rugby with the ball. Pushing it out wide. No numbers. Oh, goes for the kick. Giving away possession. The Ugandans have it now, but big hit coming in. Another kick there. Kembe. Game rugby now on the counter attack. Big defense coming in. Two, three players come in, bring down the man. Game rugby 
Slow getting back to their lines. The Ugandans all set up. The boy is going out wide, trying to use that, that space out there. But again, referee calls. He's not happy with the tackle there. So Game Rugby have the advantage. Let's see what they're able to do with this. Pushing out that ball wide. Again, no space. Running out of ideas. Gundam stripped the ball there, but the referee says no advantage. We'll take them back to the center of the pitch. Game Rugby have the ball smack on halfway. Opting to go for the kick. Looking for touch. I go to give them I go Making to good ground there just outside the 22. Remember, it's sudden death. The final of the Easter Black Rock. The next points on the board takes gold medal. It's Game Rugby now with the ball. Pushing it out wide. Ball doesn't go to hand. Ref plays way. Play on. Game Rugby with the ball. Trying to break into this. Ugandan 22, very good defensive line. Twinkle toes, can't really get anywhere. Goes down, referee says release. Game Rugby have maintained possession. Throws the dummy, loses the ball there in contact. says play on finally puts it to a stop scrum to Bukembe no doubt these players must be tired out there They just need to give it one more push. Just one more push. And winner takes all. Bukembe with the put in. He attacks the blind side. Breaks that game defense. He's gone. Oh, big hit. AR has his flag out. Referee sees nothing wrong with it. Big call here. There's a rock form. Penalty awarded for hands in the ruck. They scratch it. Give it to the big boy. Runs through. Breaks through the first tackle. The second one. Gets into the 22. Trying to take it out wide. Referee's arm is out. Playing advantage to the Ugandans as they get into game rugby's 22. They've got numbers on the right. Here comes a break. He uses the numbers well. Hand in ball. It's in. We have a champion. Bukembe Rugby from Uganda. Are your 2024 Easter Black Rock champions? Brilliant. Brilliant show. Game rugby boys on their knees. They did fight till the end. But it wasn't good enough. And here it comes. Great break there. Use of the man on the outside. Just a bit of showboating. And he knows he's the man of the moment. He scores that try. 
Bukembe Rugby are your Easter Black Rock champions 2024. Players enjoy their moment out there. I'm waiting for the presentations. We say thank you for all that showed up, turned up, played, spectated. And we'll see you again next year. From Kenya Harlequins, we say Asante Sana. Akili Kids, for making this possible. Asante Sana. And we'll see you at Easter Black Rock next year, bigger and better. From now is Charles Cardovillis. I say thank you and goodbye. Are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. No problem, no problem.
presenting All right, Rosemary Career, Horn Secretary representing Queens to come and present. And the runners up trophy. The main cup runners up, Hidden Talent. Congratulations, Hidden Talent, for the ladies. Runners up in the main cup trophy. Just come through. Coming through the runners up of the main cup, ladies category, hidden talent. The trophy being presented by Rosemary Executive. Honorable Secretary Kenya Harlequins. And the tournament director, Manu. For this particular tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, your runners up of the main cup trophy, hidden talent and a congratulations. All right, I'd like to invite the Kenya Rugby Union Chairman, uh, Sasha, to step forward. Kenya Rugby Union, Manu, Nidio, Rosie, Assist. To the winners of the 2024 Kenya Halle Queens Main Cup Trophy, Ladies Category, Gilgil, Vumbi. A huge congratulations. This award will be provided by the Kenya Rugby Union Chairman Alexander Sasha Mutai. A huge congratulations.
And here are your winners. The 2024 in the ladies category for the Black Rock Rugby Festival. Gigil Vumbi, congratulations. As the photos are being taken, I'd like to invite Rhoda of Akili Kids, Eddie of Akili Kids TV, the free to air 24 hour TV entertainment, proud sponsors of this particular tournament. Thank you very much, ladies, and congratulations. And on to the runners-up of the Main Cup Trophy. We'd like to invite runners-up Rugby Jam for the good performance in the final rugby game. Runners-up of the Main Cup Trophy of the Kenya Harlequins Black Rock Festival under 15 category. This shall be returned by the Kenya Rugby Union Chairman Alexander Mutai. Rhoda Mubo and Eddie Lang of Akili Kids, accompanied by the chairman of Kenya Harlequins, Victor Sudi. A huge congratulations! Very huge thank you to Empesa Go for their partnership and sponsorship. Empesa Go is an app, a new Empesa personal app for kids between the age of 10 and 17. As long as you're accompanied by your parent and guardian, allows you to provide financial spot planning for your twins and your twin early in their lives. We also like to recognize our sponsors and their partners. Akili Kids for their sponsorship and partnership and continued work. Ladies and gentlemen, your runners are Bright Big Jam. Huge thank you, thank you very much. We'll ask our guests to remain. Now, on to the winners, the winners of the Kenya Rugby, Kenya Harlequins Rugby Festival for under 15 category, Bukange Rugby. Academy! The final trophy of the day, Bukanga Rugby Academy, winners of the Kenya Harlequins Black Rock Under the Sea Festival. Congratulations, Bukanga Rugby Academy. Allow me to take this opportunity as they're taking their photos. Thank all the team that have taken time to participate in this tournament. We finally edge Nairobi Select, Kings Rugby Development, Nakuru FC, Prince Rugby, EPS Moran, Rugby Jam, 
Kenya Harley Queens FC, Bukenga Rugby, Gilgil Gumbi Boys and Girls, on the women's category, Hidden Talent, Nakuru Girls, Little Sports, Queens Queens, Gilgil Gumbi Girls and Rugby Jeff. I want to say a very, very special thank you to our exchange club, Dubai Exiles RFC, for making the journey and the trip to the coaches and the players, the management, the sponsors, for making the trip and making this tournament what it is as we celebrate the winners and the award of the trophy for the Kenya Harlequins Black Rock Festival Under 15 Tony. Bukenge Rugby Academy! <laughs> Thank you very, very much. A huge thank you to our sponsors, RF Healthcare, AOE Money Foundation, Empesa Go, Akili Kids, alongside Blue Band, Upfield, Brothers of Blue Band, amazing products, to all the supporters, parents, kids, boys and girls for supporting rugby. Hope to see you say again next year. Kindly take care of your belongings. A huge thank you to the executive committee and the organizing committee of Kenya Harley Queens RFC. Sante Sana for your effort. To the Kenya Referees Society for your time in officiating the game. To the physios and the doctors. Black Rock Easter Festival is here. Get ready to experience an action-packed day of under-15 youth rugby. The RFEEA grounds along Gong Road on the 13th of April 2024. Plus, you don't want to miss out on the exciting family fun zone courtesy of Akili Kids TV. Grab your advance tickets now on MOOC.com to secure your spot at the Black Rock Easter Festival.